Dann mach ich den Greenscreen an. Viel Erfolg, Tobi. Intro überspringen. Ich weiß, ihr liebt das, aber. Lieferando. Ich bin für Lieferando. Sushi. Du könntest auch einen Kartoffelhack auflaufen. Wand in den, in den Auflauf tun. Du hast Zwiebeln. Wenn du Lauch magst, ne, ich hasse Lauch, aber da kann man auch rein tun und man mit Käse überbacken und dann Kartoffeln halt rein. Ne? Mhm. Klingt nach einem guten Kartoffelhackauflauf. Just saying. Also, Zusammenfassung. Wir haben letztes Mal erstmal hier den Anfang vom Boy gemacht, dann die drei Todesszenen ähm, herausgefunden. Dann noch die zwei anderen Todesszenen bei der Frau rausgefunden. Und jetzt machen wir bei Shizuka... Nee, Katashi. Wenn Katashi stirbt, machen wir weiter. Genau das wollten wir. Bei uns ist jetzt Katashi tot. Ja, dann musst du bestellen, Wildas. Was sollst du denn sonst essen? Nur Pommes? Ja, langweilig. Das war die Kurzfassung. Uh, I didn't remember waking up during the night. I didn't feel like I had slept either. I rolled over and looked at my tablet. It was already 8 a.m. It seemed easier to think about all the good reasons to get out of bed than to actually do it. It's anders, ne? Cool. There was the pocket watch riddle and I still hadn't worked out how to deactivate die. Besides, everybody else had to get up and do their jobs. We'd all witnessed the same thing last night. Why should I get to stay in bed when they didn't? Das ist jetzt... Ich muss öfter mal gucken. Ach, das seht ihr gar nicht. Also wenn meine Maus hinter mir verschwindet, ich gucke, ob ich skippen kann. But on the other hand, sleep. I must have spent 10 precious minutes thinking before I decided to. Stay in bed, go back to sleep. Okay. Schlafen oder essen? <lacht> Ja, immer. Ich kratze mich immer am Rücken. Ich muss noch einen Keks essen. Kein interessiert, dann gehen wir schlafen. I didn't know how long I'd been sleeping, but when I opened my eyes, I didn't feel exhausted anymore. I felt clear-minded and like maybe I could even move a little bit. Ready to face the day, I rolled over and went to kick off the sheets when my foot made contact with something. Ah! Good morning. Warum sitzt der Mann auf meinem Bett? Nicholas sat on the end of my bed looking down at me with a smile. I couldn't tell if it was a friendly or a sinister smile. I immediately began fumbling for my sheet. I slept on only a singlet that just covered my chest and panties. Without the sheet, everything else was just there. Uh, 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 I... Good morning, Nicola. It seems you did not sleep so well. It is very late.
Warum guckt er so streng? I finally managed to find the seat and pull it sideways so that it covered everything it needed to. What was he doing there? Um, I had bad dreams. Nicholas nodded as if expecting me to elaborate, but I didn't want to talk about my dreams. I wanted to talk about him sneaking into my room while I slept. Guter Punkt. Are you here to kill me? Heavens no. <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, I would not need to sneak into your room. There are many substances I could administer secretly and no one would be any the wiser. That isn't exactly reassuring. Have you thought a lot about ways to kill me? Not as much as die, probably. Ha ha ha! Well, I'm glad you're just thinking about ways to kill people and not actually doing it like she does. As far as you know, I am not. Ha ha! You are nervous, aren't you? You do not need to be. Really? Because I wake up and you're in my room explaining how you could kill me. Uh, fair point. I apologize for making you feel uncomfortable. Nicholas reached out and put his hand on my foot through the sheets reassuringly. Was fasst er meine Füße an der Fußfetischist? So you're not trying to kill me? <laughs> Why would I want to kill you? I don't know, to save yourself and your sister from the deletion game? Why do keep people kill other people? For money? It can't be that. Or maybe for fun? Or because you don't like me? Killing you could lose us a valuable potential ally in the game. And like you said, I am not die. I do not find killing fun. Oh, so you must be here to kill me because you just don't like me. Well, that could never be the reason. I like you. And your company. Well, then you mustn't be here to kill me at all. Guess not. That is a relief. Poof! Hello, Nanisha. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Ha ha. Katashi's death was unfortunate and unpleasant. But Dai is not going to give us time to grieve about it. We have to think ahead, and I need to work out how I can protect my sister. And you. Es hat noch nie ein Mann so was Nettes zu mir gesagt. Willkommen zurück, Fekiel. Gut und selbst. Können wir Nikolas als richtigen Menschen machen? Eine 3D-Figur reicht mir auch schon. Why are you so worried about me? You don't know me really. Especially not like you know your sister. You were very unwell when we found you. When you put a lot of energy into helping someone stay alive, you stay invested in that life. Ja, dann geh doch schlafen, Werto. Thank you, I'm very grateful for what you did. Katashi's dad was still fresh in my mind and I could be next. Could I afford to be suspicious of Nicolas' mot motives? Motifs? <laughs> what if it comes down to saving me or Beatrix? Wouldn't you put your sister ahead of me? I did not have a sister, but if I did, I thought I would certainly put them before a stranger. Even if I did like the new person and had cared for them, I thought that I would... And I was certain Nicholas would. Warum fragst du das überhaupt? Natürlich rettet er erst Beatrix dann dich. Nicholas smiled warmly. I will do my best to protect both of you. You are both important to me, and I want to see you both survive this. Please trust me. Er sagt, ich muss ihm vertrauen. Er sagt, ich soll ihm vertrauen. Wir vertrauen ihm. Wir mögen ihn. Okay, Nicholas. I will try to. That is very reassuring. If you follow me and trust me. I will make sure you are okay. Also, wenn wir sterben, können wir wegen sagen, er hat gelogen. Nur mit Erdbeeren rausgeworfen. Naja, immerhin hat er Erdbeeren, meinst du? Nicht nur. How can you promise that? You don't control Dai and she designs the game to make it hard for anyone to protect anyone else. I bet Shizuka promised to protect Katashi too. And look how that ended up. Nicholas stood firm with his convictions. I am a better ally than Shizuka was, or ever will be. Okay. I didn't know what to believe. The way I was looking at the situation, two possibilities existed. Either Nicholas genuinely cared about me or I was being mani manipul manipulated as a pawn for him to win the next game. Should I trust him? Was it worth the risk? Before I got to ask many, uh, any more questions, Dai's voice rang out from the intercom. Yahoo! Everyone's favorite AI system is here! My, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It would be such it's a shame if someone were to mention the deletion game. 
ha 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 Can I please have all crew report to the dining hall for briefing immediately? That is all. Ich traue ihm. We'd better go. I started to get up when Nicholas put a hand on my shoulder to stop me. Not that it is my business, and I dare not comment on a woman's attire unless it is a compliment. But I do not believe arriving at the dining hall dressed like that will be well received by the captain. Can I have a bild? Then I can decide if it's good find or not. I become so engrossed in our conversation, thinking about whether or not I could trust Nicholas. I'd completely forgotten I was still in my singlet and panties. As we entered the dining room, warum we? Hat er auf mich gewartet? Hat er mir beim Umziehen zugeguckt? As we entered the dining room, we were greeted by an overly excited Dai. Welcome, welcome. Please, everyone, take your seats. The show is about to begin, and I must say, I am quite excited about this one. Ich hatte echt Hoffnung, Dex. I made my way to the tab table and took the empty seat next to the captain. Dai was excited. Excitedly moving around the room, pretending to do a head count. Okay, good, good. Everyone is sitting. Get on with it, Di. Didn't your mother ever teach you that patience is a virtue? I wanted to bring a blöden Spruch with Jungfrau bringen, but good. Uh, the captain looked at Di intensely. Oh, that's right. She probably wasn't around long enough to teach you much. Such a shame. It's such a shame, it's such a shame. Two. I could see the captain becoming enraged by Di's words, but she remained composed. All right, I can't hold in the excitement any longer. Welcome to round four of the deletion game, Bidding Wars. Woohoo! I have noticed a certain lack of... What's the word? Teamwork! So I have specifically designed this game to help us grow as a crew, but more importantly, as a family. We have to work as a team and trust one another if we are to get through this together. Bidding Wars is das, wo es zwei Teams gibt und die Zahlen gegeneinander sind. Was wir dachten, verstanden zu haben und was am Ende dann ganz anders war. Cut the crap, die. One of us will die. Teamwork is not on the cards. Well, it is now, because I said so. If you would all please turn your attention to your tablet devices, I have made you a short video on the rules. Ich putz kurz Nase während es läuft. Also ich finde, Dai hätte da schon so einen richtig coolen, coole Hintergrundmusik laufen lassen können. Das ist ein bisschen... Meh. Wo ist denn da die Spannung? Dieses... So ein bisschen Game Show. Ein bisschen awkward. Hey, guck mal, wie lustig das oben mit den Monden perfekt in das Overlay reinpasst. Es passt perfekt. <lacht> Good luck. Ja, danke. Wir gucken jetzt nur noch die Videos. Die Game-Beschreibungsvideos. So the game will be played and the bidding wars end on Sunday, a week from now. This is pretty exciting, right? Mm -mm. Now, would you like me to explain the rules again myself or just skip straight to the fun? Straight to the fun, bitte. Wonderful. Everyone's up to speed. Team A will be made up of Nicholas, Beatrix, and Yoshiki. And Team B will consist of Vladimir, Shizuka, Melody, and Kimiko. 
sind die gleichen Teams, außer dass Wladimir statt Kat... Oder? Nee, Katashi war bei uns. Nee, warte mal. Wie nee, wir hatten, wir hatten Kimiko, Katashi und Yoshiki. Okay, das letzte Mal waren Kimiko und Katashi meine Verbündeten. Jetzt sind es Beatrix und Nikolaus. Okay. Okay. Ich krieg die beiden Blondies. Ja, der Millionär. And remember, no talking with the enemy from now on, or else. Team B, if you would please exit the dining hall and make your way to the rec room. I will be there shortly to allocate your team captain. Team A is Ach, up first. Wer wird wohl der Team Captain sein? Ja, das müssen Good. wir. Good. Now that those pesky B teamers are gone, we can finally get down to business. Ja, ja, Dex. Yoshiki ist ähm, ähm, gestromt worden und Beatrix war da, wo, wo äh, Nikolas in den Raum ohne Oxygen reingegangen ist und Beatrix sich schnell genug ähm, vergiften musste. You said it would be random. How will you make sure it's fair? Wenn du wieder mit deinen Hüten anfängst, bring ich dich um. Keen to get started, huh? Me too. This one's gonna be fun. I've preloaded four cards on your tablets. You can choose one whenever oh, you're ready. The person who chooses the card with the bunny on it will be the team captain. How do we know you won't change our cards and rig who the captain is? Are you suggesting that I lack integrity? Und schon ist wieder viel How dare you, madame? Madame. I turn turn back on Beatrix as she explained. I've preloaded four cards on your tablets. You can choose one whenever you're ready. The person who chooses the card with the bunny on it will be the team captain. Kriege ich jetzt meinen Hasen bitte? But what order do we pick our cards in? Civilized agreement? Scissors, paper, rock? Knife fight? I don't care, as long as you get on with it. I'm happy to go last. There's no way of picking your cards strategically. Warte mal, dann ist Yoshiki der Captain. That's true, why don't I go last then? You're my bestie after all. Then you... Then you Vogels can decide between you. I will go after Beatrix, of course. Ist der jetzt Incest, Typi, oder steht er auf mich? Beatrix smiled warmly and I remembered that however the, uh, tough and unmovable she seemed from the outside, she definitely loved her brother. Then she was all attitude again. Well, we all know I'm number one. Trixie? Ich glaube ich nicht, Dex. Ich glaube, er steht auf seine, äh, seine Schwester. Can I call you Trixie? Sie fragt sogar. No. Wait, I don't need your permission, Trixie. Beatrix grimaced, uh, but Nicholas swiftly changed the subject back to the game. Die, I would like card number four, please. You got it, handsome. Only two and three are left. Nein, ich will die zwei. I'll take two, ich mag die zwei. See, this is fun. That leaves with card number three. Isn't this exciting? Ta-da, Bunny! Congratulations! You are the team captain. Oh, wonder. <laughs> and now I must scurry over to your worthy opponents. Any last questions before I leave? Do I have to always have the most or least points as the captain? No, no, not at all. Where would be the fun in that? You can allocate points however you like, as long as at least two of you have one point. So I will get whatever points I am allocated? Only if you win your battle round. But I could be allocated nothing every round, right? Yep, and you thought this game wouldn't be exciting. Then I'll never win a battle round. Not with that attitude, you won't. Sheesh. Sheesh. But I could just be given no points. Yeah, I guess you could, couldn't you? Also, was auch immer die beiden haben, wir werden es wahrscheinlich äh, diesen Strang rausfinden. <laughs> But we won't do that to you, Yoshiki. I won't allow it. I am the captain. Ja, klar. Aww. Thanks, bestie. Halt die Klappe, wir mögen Yoshiki nicht. You're right, Yoshiki. We could do that, and it would guarantee the three of us are safe for this game. But it would be smarter to work as a team. How? You can't be the loser if I have zero points. Being allocated points or more points for that fact doesn't guarantee that we will win the battle rounds points. So you're not going to leave me with nothing? Of course not. If we were to always leave you with zero, but so does Team B to their last player, 
But we are more likely to cancel out our own points and risk losing ourselves as well. Well, this is a touching scene, but I'm a busy holographic projection. I've got places to go, people to see. Okay, Beatrix and Nicolas sind super laut. Remember, no talking to Team B at all. So that tears. Red lingering in the air, she disappeared from the dining room, leaving us alone as a team. So if we allocate a nine and a one each time, then we'd always either have the highest number or tie for it, right? Yeah, but if both teams have a nine, no one will get any points individually or as a team. Yeah, and besides, there's only three rounds, so one of us would never get to have a nine. Well, we could try four, three, two, one, use them all each time and rotate who gets which. That sounds fair. You are forgetting that we have to beat the other team. If our highest number is four the first two times, they're going to go higher the third round. They're going to try and predict our behavior. And we should be trying to predict theirs. Oh, I hadn't thought about it that way. But we can't even talk to them. All we can do is guess at what they might do. We can predict based on what we know about them and they can do the same. We've been together our whole lives. We all know each other well. Except you. Hey, maybe that gives us an advantage. What do you mean? You're our wild card, Sailor. Moon. No one knows you well enough to predict your actions. That's a... It's a good thing we're on the same team, Bestie. Otherwise, I could use our strong psychic connection to read your mind. Was ist falsch mit dem? <coughs> Maybe they couldn't predict me, but they can't. I can't know I'm the one choosing because we can't speak to them and tell them that. I wish we knew what the punishment was for talking to them. It might be worth the risk if we could feed them some misleading information. No, we don't know what will happen. It's not worth the risk. What if we were super sneaky about it? I could leave notes for the captain. Ja, aber er ist halt so niedlich, dass du wieder, also du kannst ihn halt nicht hassen, hassen. No. Your bravery is admirable, but we do not know that Dai will only punish you. She might punish everyone because one person breaks the rules. I agree. We need to stick to the rules and find a way to beat them. Yeah. So then, I guess, one of them will die. Maybe Kimiko or Melody. Yeah, Melody. Yoshiki suddenly became very somber. I don't want any of them to die. Neither do I, but somebody has to. Dai is definitely going to kill someone, and I do not want it to be me. Ich dachte, deine Schwester ist wichtiger als du. And the only way to guarantee that is if our team wins. Saving ourselves was killing one of the others, not just killing them, but killing them in some awful way chosen by Dai. He's echt nutzlos. Außer sie können neues Kind machen. Ach nee, warte, Soda ist tot. Upsili, <laughs> unless I could figure out how to deactivate her. So what's our strategy going to be? For me to pick everything, to try and predict their moves? Currently, our best strategy is to have no strategy. We okay, have gut. a few days to decide how to deal with the first round. But if we go in there with all three rounds planned out, they might figure out how to read us. So we work it out as we go? Yes, we need to be flexible. Beatrix nodded in agreement. Well, if we're not going to plan out a full battle plan, I've got better things to do. Us too. We've got air filters to monitor and maintain, right? Va, 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 nine? We do? I told you I needed your help earlier. Uh, when? I hadn't seen you at all this morning until Dice's announcement. Well, this morning, when you woke up. I told you telepathically that I needed help. Ich nehme alles zurück, man kann ihn hassen. Ich nehme alles zurück, man kann ihn wirklich hassen. Nicholas raised one eyebrow as he got to his feet. Well, enjoy your air filters, you two. Let us all split up for now and regroup later with any new ideas. Ist er eifersüchtig? My mind will be occupied with nothing else. Ist er eifersüchtig? Beatrix got up and left the dining hall. The rest of us followed after her. I spent the rest of the day with Yoshiki making sure all the air filters were working. 
It was tiring work, so we didn't have the energy to spare for thinking about the deletion game or anything else for that matter. My dreams were full of weird clock Im imagery. Uh, the hands of a watch ticking and the watch itself on the end of its chain swinging back and forth in front of my eyes. I woke up to find the sheets all tangled around my legs and one arm hanging half off the bed. I must have been tossing and turning all, all through the night to get myself into such an awkward position. There was a new deletion game, but there wasn't much I could do to prepare for it. I needed to stop the deletion game from happening at all and the pocket watch might be the answer. Of course, the problem was that I still had no idea how it might work and how my parents were planning to connect to another dimension. I needed help, but I was only allowed to speak to three of the people on the ship. Maybe one of them would know something, or at the very least offer a different perspective. Also, Nikolas würde ich am liebsten mitreden, weil wir jetzt schon den Draht haben. Das Problem ist, oder die Gefahr ist, dass er halt immer Beatrix, ne? Wenn wir zu Beatrix gehen würden, ist die Gefahr, dass Beatrix immer Beatrix. Versteht ihr, was ich meine? Ich gehe nicht zu Yoshik, ich gehe zu Nikolas. <lacht> wie, wie, wir speichern, äh, oh, das war falsch. Äh, wir speichern kurz, ne? Ob ich Yoshiki bumsen will? Ich, ich bumse ihn, wenn nichts mehr anderes übrig bleibt. After checking my tablet, I found Nicholas in the kitchen. I could smell the burning as I came in to find him hurriedly trying to remove a burnt mess from a frying pan. Gut. Uh. Mm, what's, co what's cooking, honey? It smells charcoaly. His panicked expression told me that it was not the time for jokes. I quickly came over to help him, taking a large spoon chula from the bench. I scraped it on his black pancake blob as he relinquished control of the frying pan to me. If anyone asks, it was a science experiment. Klar. Of course it was. What else would it be? I smiled playfully at him. I think perhaps I never appreciated Katashi enough. I didn't want to think about Katashi. Not because I didn't care, but thinking about him made me think of the new game. I had other things on my mind right now. So I found something in my parents' old things. It's a pocket watch, see? After I put the pan down and turned the heat back on, I showed him the watch. There was nothing in his face to suggest he knew what it was or that he recognized it. It's a nice watch. Very vintage in style. It's not just a watch, I think. I've looked at the research my parents left behind and I think this watch has something to do with interdimensional travel. Nichols raised one eyebrow at me. It's a watch from another version of reality? I don't know, maybe? I just know they wanted to solve the resource problem. Pro pro problem. Le problème? Wir sind jetzt französisch. And it's connected to alternate reality somehow. Well, your parents' work was pretty out there, wasn't it? Yeah, but the question is... Pff, noch länger, bitte. Why would my parents be researching how to obtain more resources if it occurred yet? How do you think it connects to other... Uh, I think a good question. Nicholas tilted his head, his trademarks suave, falling away to reveal confusion. What? Did not your parents teach you about Earth, its history? No, they didn't talk about Earth at all. When her parents signed up for this mission, it was because Earth could not sustain human life anymore. Overpopulation, government corruption, environmental disaster. The water was not safe to drink, crops would not grow. Your parents would have started their research long before there was a resource problem on this ship. Klingt jetzt gar nicht mehr so fern. <laughs> so the research wasn't part of the mission? I believe it was a hedging of bets. The ship was built to allow the human race to discover a new planet to inhabit, because Earth was no longer suitable. But if your parents could draw on resources from other dimensions, then our problem would also be solved. The funding for this mission came from some of the world's government and military, but mainly the private sector. From Musk Industries. Musk Industries? Elon Musk? <laughs> what did they do? Fund this kind of project, I guess. It was a family dynasty. They had a lot of forward-thinking ideas for using technology for solving environmental problems. Did not your parents ever tell you anything about the mission? They didn't tell me much of anything. Musk Industries funded the mission and had the base research to start it. They then approached various governments to become involved, requesting military-trained personnel. After all, this is a mission, not a vacation. So the world banded together for this mission to save humanity? <laughs> Absolutely not. Which is why this mission is so important. 
humans by nature can be very greedy. And that is one of the reasons why we ended up making Earth uninhabitable in the first place. People put money before the greater good. Wobei Elon Musk kann es eigentlich sein, es müsste halt sein, sein Ur-Ur-Großenkel oder so sein. Because Musk Industries was a family dynasty, they answered to their conscience alone. Unlike most of the world's governments and politicians, they weren't corrupt and couldn't simply be bought off. Is Elon Musk corrupt? <laughs> wow, I had no idea that. Not the best of news, but at least now I understand a bit better why we are here. I finished helping Nicholas cook eatable pancakes, even making enough to feed myself in the process. I'd gotten some ideas about the watch. All in all, a pretty productive morning. After I'd eaten, I decided it was time to think some more about the dye problem. That was more of an immediate issue than the watch, unless they were connected in some way. I made my way back to my room to summon I. nicht so offensichtlich. Also ich, ich also ist, ist generell so de, die, die Meinung eher so, oh, das ist so ein toller, der ist so lieb und der macht endlich mal was Gutes und der lässt sich nicht kaufen wie andere unter dem oder ist, ist das, ist, denken die Leute eher so, boah, dieser scheiß Korrupte. Ja, positiv, okay. I sat on the bed with the papers and tablets sprawled over the bed. Nothing. Still nothing. Ah, this is so frustrating. This happened to me also. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. Getting angry isn't going to solve anything. I threw myself back on the bed and stared at the ceiling for a long time before I was suddenly bathed in, warm, uh, in the warm glow of ice holographic interface. I am sorry to interrupt. Don't worry about it. I, you weren't interrupting anything. What's up? I found some more information that may be useful against Dai. That's wonderful. What is it? I've discovered that it's possible to input the deactivation code into any terminal, including your personal tablets. Do you know anything else about the deactivation code? I shook her head. Unfortunately, I didn't learn anything else. Hallo, Blurik. Halli, hallo. Hier wird auf jeden Fall irgendwer sterben. Wir haben hier viel, viel Platz für Tode, glaube ich. I tried to access more information. But even with my administrator privileges, I was unable to proceed any further. Well, at least we know where we can input the code once we know what it is. I am glad you are pleased. It isn't perfect, but it's a step in the right direction. I must return to my duties. Warte mal, was? I tried to access more. Unfortunately, I tried to access. Was I am glad. Was wir auch? I must return to my duties. War das nicht das gleiche, was wir auch im anderen Strang rausgefunden haben? Ich dachte, wir kriegen andere Infos. Of course, thanks for the update, I. I bowed and faced out of my quarters. Deactivated from any tablet to terminal, huh? At least now I knew that it, I wouldn't need a higher clearance level. Das ist genau das gleiche. I'm probably going to have to dig up some more information on Ayumu if I want to work out this code. I returned my attention to the watch. Vielleicht kriegen wir auch immer nur das gleiche und dann kriegen wir halt, so wie wir das letzte Mal Astra haben, Kriegen wir jetzt dann einen anderen Snippet oder so? Hm. Come on, Luna. Pull yourself together. You need to work this out. I sifted through my parents' papers and tablets to see if I had missed anything. Ich hab das deaktiviert und du musst es in die Zentrale. Kam es nicht erst später? Ich glaube, es kam erst später. Wir werden sehen, ne? I didn't sleep well, I didn't have any nightmares and I couldn't remember dreaming at all. But upon waking up, I felt awful. Maybe it was the stress of all these deletion games and the watch. I felt weak and I had a headache and my throat felt very, very dry. However, when I cut, it was chesty and wet. Geil, erklär mir mehr davon! It wasn't just stress, I was sick and I did not have time for it. Das Mama war nicht krank. I still felt like I could get up and move. Ach, weil wir ja die, die, die Vogels haben, ne, diesmal. Die müssen uns ja pflegen. Um, I still felt like I could get up and move, but where to go? I could go to the medic bay to see one of the Vogels. They could maybe give me something to help me feel better, but perhaps all I needed was a warm bath and the chance to relax. Ich geh baden. Das letzte Mal haben wir da Nikolas gesehen. I wasn't really sick, just tired and stressed. All I needed was a steamy shower and the chance to relax a little. Komm, mit wem baden wir? 
I went to the bath hoping it would be empty. I couldn't talk to the other team and I didn't uh, want to talk to my own. There was a good chance conversation would be about the new deletion game. And my stress levels just didn't want to deal with that. As soon as the door opened, I could hear the shower running. Damn it, I was not alone. I would have turned and left, but Beatrix called out to me. I was sprung. <gasps> Don't run away, sailor. It's only me. Jungs, vielleicht sehen wir sie halb nackt. Errungenschaft freigeschaltet. Love is only skin deep. Kommst du wirklich nicht mit, Blurix? <lacht> Bist du dir sicher, dass du nicht doch mitkommen willst? Ähm, Beatrix was sitting in a shower cubicle, washing her blonde hair and being entirely casual about it. We're both women here. No need to be shy. I went up to the shower to talk to her. She continued mes messaging, ma ma massaging shampoo to her scalp. I just came for a shower. Thought it might clear up my head. Warum habe ich eigentlich meine Jacke noch an? Also, ihr seht ja da unten, da, da, den Ärmel da, ne? Warum? Me too. What a coincidence. You might as well join me. I could use someone to wash my back. She was right. There was nothing to be embarrassed about. And doing Beatrix a favor was definitely... Definitely in my own best interest. It did look warm and re refreshing, and it was the reason I came here. I just wanted to avoid the stress of deletion game talk. All right, you win. I got into the shower cubicle with her just as she was rinsing out her hair. I sat behind her, and she passed me the soap. Thanks, sailor. Feel free to take your time. Beatrix winked in the mirror at me. I started foaming the soap and washing her back. Beatrix had lovely soft skin and it felt quite relaxing to rub my hands along her shoulders. And I see for the soft part, okay? Mm, nice work. You clearly have some experience with this. Shh, das soll der Chat nicht wissen. So, now that we're gal pals, it's only natural that we start gossiping. So, do you like anyone on this <laughs> ship? Anyone tickling your fantasy? Go on, spill sailor. Ich habe Angst, Nikolas zu sagen, nicht dass sie selbst auf ihrem Bruder steht. He turned to wink at me. How would I answer her? <gasps> I, well, I don't really... I mean, maybe, but... Come on, <laughs> spit it out. All your secrets are safe with me. Uh, you! Beatrix turned to look at me, her smile sly as she looked into my eyes. Oh, really? Why was I honest? I shouldn't have told her the truth. She'd make a thing out of, uh, of it. Please don't get weird about it. I was in the process of washing her back and was already heading towards weird. Wouldn't dream of it. Anyway, what's weird about it? I'm the obvious choice. Because you're the most attractive person on the ship, Beatrix winked. Never had any competition. Until now. Beatrix smiled playfully at me. Hopefully. We can make this a regular thing. Unless you think it'd be weird. I could definitely stand to do this again. Uh, but sometimes I like it weird. And I think you do too. Don't worry, sailor. We'll definitely have to get weird real soon. Well... This has been a very enlightening conversation. But my back was clean a while back. I've just been enjoying the pampering. Thanks, Sailor. But it is time I got back to work. Ich will wissen, was sie zu Nikolaus sagt. Ich will wissen, ob die irgendwas haben. We're both women here. Ach so, ja. Ah, ich muss sowieso ausstellen. Ach du Scheiße, stop skipping. Okay, hab ich gut. Hmm, so... Uh, Nikolas? Oh, really? A devious smile made me immediately regret my honesty. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I get it. He is charming and handsome. It runs in the family. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That's not what attracts you to him? What else could it be, Sailor? Okay, I think the game wants to take Nikolas. Do go on. I'm intrigued. But with you, it was just so, so, so... Bingel, Bagel, Bungel, ne, so, so ein bisschen so da, 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 da. und jetzt sagt sie, er ist, er ist gut aussehen, bla bla, aber das ist gar nicht der Grund, warum ich auf ihn stehe, sondern um, well Come on, you can't leave me hanging like that Do tell I 
I don't know. I mean, you put me on the spot. I just had to say someone, and he just popped into my head. Okay, this is doch nicht Keeper. Oh, really? <laughs> That's even more interesting. Wow. It is. I like that you're leaving your options open. Okay, wir lassen das dabei, weil ich es gut finde. Weil wenn ich Beatrix sage, dann, dann denkt sie Beatrix, dann kann ich ja nicht mit Nikolas was anfangen. Aber wenn, wenn sie sagt, ich lasse meine Options open, das ist eine bessere Sache. Hallo, Fladinator. Well, this has been a very enlightening. But my back was clean a while back. I've just been enjoying the pampering. Okay, Thanks, Sailor. But She stood up, toweled herself off and was back into her uniform in record time. Hope that head of yours gets cleared. Maybe next time I can help you out. With your hair, or your back, or whatever else. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> With a final wink, she headed straight out into the corridor. Somewhat stunned, I watched her go. Then, realizing I was still holding soap, I settled myself in for a nice long shower. It did help at least a little. My headache and sore throat felt somewhat better. It might have been the warm shower or maybe Beatrix's company. Either way, I decided to go back to my quarters to rest and hopefully sleep the rest of it, this headache off. Das speichern wir jetzt. Aber ich möchte Scheiße. Warte, ich muss Okay. Wir gehen nur mal ganz kurz rein und gucken, was passiert, ne? Nikolas, okay, der war da, ja? Warte, was war qu quite cute? Working at his desk, I could hear him humming to himself. At least someone was having a good morning. It was quite cute. I knocked the best I could on the metal door frame. Nikolas spun around on his chair to face me. Good morning. Ooh, you look tired. Are you all right? Did you just get up? Er hat Klamotten an. Er ist schon langweilig. <lacht> Nicholas, I'm not feeling too well. He appeared beside me so fast it was like teleportation. One hand on my arm and the other on my back. He guided me to the bed and helped me sit down. Nicholas spoke in an amazingly calm tone tone that was quite comforting. Let me take a look. Tobi, du hast was verpasst. Tobi, für dich, ausnahmsweise, Tobi, 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 ich zeig's dir, okay? But my back was clean a while. Hmm. Thanks. You might. Don't run away. Don't run away, sailor. It's only me. Hier, Tobi, für dich. Extra für dich. So. Let me take a look. Yeah. Nicholas put his hand on my forehead, checking my temperature. Hmm. Next, he put two fingers on the inside of my wrist. His lips moved very slightly as he counted to himself. Here's the blood pressure. Nicholas wrapped the strap around my arm as the strap began expanding. Na ja, 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 das passiert halt, aber wir waren jünger, als wir den Nicholas gesehen haben. Hallo, Luna. The blood pressure machine beeped. You have got the early symptoms of a cold. Oh nein, ich werde sterben. Are you sure I'm not dying? It feels like I'm dying. Nicholas chuckled warmly. But you should stay here for now. We cannot have you wandering around the ship infecting everyone else. But I'm good at sharing. Sharing is caring. I pushed a smile through regardless of feeling so unwell. <laughs> that is so kind of you. Allow me to share the medic bay with you. He helped me lie down and get my head onto a pillow. It felt nice. A comfy spot for my sore head. He tucked the blankets in around me. There you are. Now, get some sleep. Doctor's orders. Nico smiled playfully as I closed my eyes and tried to drift off. I certainly felt like sleeping, but my dry throat and sore head were keeping me awake. And I was cold. I could hear Nicholas going about his work and occasionally coming over to check on me. Are you having trouble sleeping? Do you need anything? Yes, cold. Then, uh, to check my temperature. Oh, it would appear, young lady... That you have a fever. Ja, und was machst du dagegen? Okay, It wir machen gleich das nächste. Du sollst hier. Ja, joy me. I'm cold, but if you lie down with me, I'll definitely warm up. Ja, das wollte ich doch schon. Nicholas had begun to blush. <gasps> Besides, I patted the bed beside me. You need to take a break from work. It was a pleasant surprise to see Suave Nicholas momentarily speechless and his pink flushed cheeks were 
Well, that sounds delightful, but incredibly unprofessional. I won't tell anyone if you don't. It can be our little secret. Tempting. But if you're contagious, I'd risk becoming ill. That'll just add some excitement to your life. Will you catch my cold or won't you? Only one way to find out. Nicholas adjusted the blankets to tuck me in tighter, smiling. I'll take a rain check. But I hope this isn't a one-time-only offer. Plus, it'll be more fun when you can move your hands. I realized that he had tucked me in so tight that I couldn't move my hands. He was no longer blushing, but I certainly was. Unable to move, I had nothing to do and quickly drifted off to sleep. Sometime later, Nicholas woke me before finishing for the night. How are you feeling? Uh, oh, a bit better, but I still have a little bit of a headache. Do you need anything before I leave for the night? A new head? Good night. I will be back first thing in the morning. Okay? Der lässt mich echt alleine? Good night. Der lässt mich einfach alleine. Good morning. Rise and shine, kids. This is your friendly neighborhood AI requesting you all be in the dining room within half an hour or face the consequences. I was startled awake by Dai's voice, booming out of the intercom. The sudden shock was disorienting enough, but I also realized I was not in my bed. Where was I? I repeat, we are ready. All systems are go. This is not a drill. Get to the dining room in 29 minutes and 25 seconds. It took me a few moments to adjust and reorient myself. I was in the medic bay. I'd come in feeling sick and Nicholas said I had a cold. I looked up at the clock on the wall. 5 or 15? Seriously? Die? She didn't appear. Nicholas said I might be contagious, that I should stay where I was to avoid spreading my virus. Die? It seemed like Die did not care if I was sick. I had to get up and go to the dining hall. I climbed out of the bed. My head felt a little better, at least, despite Die's ear-shattering wake-up call. Perhaps a night of exhausted sleep had done me some good. Können wir? Ich würde gern wissen. Wenn wir das andere laden, sind wir dann auch so, so am, am rumjammern? Dann gibt's... Hä? Nein, es gibt ja nichts zu essen. Es geht ums Sterben. I repeat. Okay, was sagt sie? Söldners. Okay. Oh no. No. Nee, da bin ich nicht krank. Da geht's mir voll gut. Naja, gut, wir nehmen trotzdem das andere. Sind wir halt krank. Ich würde wirklich sagen, jetzt... Oh. <lacht> ja, ich habe halt meine Präferenzen, nicht wahr? I climbed out of the bed. My head felt a little better, at least. Despite Dives ear-shattering wake-up call. Perhaps a night of exhausted sleep had done me some good. Oh. Wieso kommen diese Boxen immer, wenn man sie nicht erwartet? Um, I was halfway to the dining room when I ran into the rest of my team, outside Beatrix and Nicholas' quarters. The twins were talking to Yoshiki. Nicholas' polished, suave demeanor was replaced with slouchy, blurry-eyed confusion. Beatrix was standing tall over Yoshiki, absolutely livid. What the hell is wrong with you? What were you thinking? richtig blurry. I rushed over to them. What happened? Did you break the rules? I'm so sorry. I didn't... It was an accident. Oh. Well, that makes it all so much better. What happened? It was Melody. I got up to go to the bathroom and, and she was crying. And Vladimir wasn't around, so I just... Oh, Yoshiki, this wasn't his fault. It was probably instinct to try and help Melody. I would have done the same. What has happened, has happened. Let us just get to the dining room and find out what your punishment is. Oh no, she isn't going to punish Melody too? She doesn't know any better. She said the punishment was for everyone. 
Nicholas was right. There was nothing we could do about it. We just have to hope for the best. Maybe we die would be satisfied by punishing eight people a little bit instead of one person a lot. The punishment better be death or I'll kill you myself. Do not worry about her. She is not a morning person, even on a good day. Beatrix, we're a good team. We all entered the dining hall together. Team B was already there, sitting and waiting for us. Melody was sitting on Vladimir's lap, sobbing. Poor little thing must have been terrified when Dai caught Yoshiki talking to her. Welcome, welcome. It's about time Team A decided to grace us with their presence. As I'm sure you are already aware, the rule forbidding communication between teams has been broken, which is why you've all been summoned here this morning. I was looking around the room at the crew when she stopped and focused on Beatrix. Oh dearie me, Trixie. You're looking a bit rough around the edges this morning. Um, we sind zwei Teams und die Teams untereinander dürfen keinen Kontakt miteinander haben und Yoshiki hat mit Melody Kontakt. Yoshiki ist in unserem Team, Melody im anderen. Deswegen. I just wish the people would have the courtesy to break the rules at a more sensible hour. Guter Punkt. Bin ich bei dir. Ja. <lacht> Oh, Trixie, you're such a hoot. Well, I'd say that's more than enough pleasantries for now. On to the punishment. Warte mal, Yoshiki redet gar nicht von komischen Hüten. Just punish me. I'm the one who broke the rules. Please die. I already told you two that this is a team sport. Then just punish our team. I'm afraid that's not possible. For you see, the punishment is... She left a dramatic pause that seemed to last hours. The deletion game! There was silence again. What? Huh? <laughs> it's a shame to bring things forward, but Yoshiki and Melody gave me no choice. We are forced to hold the next round right now. Now? It's not even six o'clock. So? So we are all tired. Hey, du bist der Captain, als ob Kimiko jemals müde wäre. And hungry! Das stimmt. Da, das ist ein Punkt, den lasse ich durchgehen. We are not prepared. We have not agreed on a final strategy. Well, that's not my fault now, is it? The captain scrambled to buy all of us more time. You want the game to be interesting, right? Eight tired people doing the very first thing they can think of will not be very exciting. What a shame. I considered this for a few moments. Good point. This is why you're the captain. Das war doch jetzt eine ganz andere Stimme. You want the game... Well, that's not my fault now, is it? Good point. This is why you're the captain. Well, that's not my fault now, is it? Good point. This is why you're the captain. Well, that's not my fault now, is it? Good point. This is why you're the captain. Das ist doch eine wirklich ganz andere Stimme. Also ja, sie ist lauter, aber sie ist auch ganz... Also... Das klingt mehr so nach, nach amerikanischen Pornostar. You want well, that's not my fault now, is it? Und das eher nach so amerikanischer Zicke. Good point. This is why you're the captain. Okay, teams, new plan. I will allow you... Good point. This is why you're the captain. Okay, teams, new plan. I will allow you 10 minutes for strategy meetings. Team A stays here. Team B will meet in the kitchen. But... Also ihre Stimme oh, da... Good point. This is why you're the captain. Hätte mega gut zu Beatrix gepasst. But... Disperse! Team B got out of their seats and filed past us, slow and slouching. Nicholas had already begun to lean forward, even before the door closed behind them. I have two strategy suggestions. How are you even awake? The first one is that we go the rounds with two people each time on zero, in order to spread the points over two, Increasing their personal pools and hopefully winning the rounds if the other team spread their points over four people. Okay, what is strategy two? Assume they are doing that and spread out points over four people. Okay, so how do we spread the points? We'd have to play it by ear until we saw the results of the first round. That makes sense. No point nailing down a plan when there are so many variables in play. Yeah, Yoshiki, möchtest du noch leiser flüstern? I like the first idea, but one question. Yes? What if we lose? If our team loses the game, someone has to die. Right. Should we choose who and agree now? You mean vote to kill one of us? Unfortunately, we cannot decide it that way. After all, leaving the person allocated nine points in every round might not win any. I'll die. I broke the rules. I should be punished. 
Again, your enthusiasm to sacrifice yourself is endearing, but that is not how the game works. Well, Yoshiki's the engineer. He's got vital skills. I don't. I'll be the one to die. Am I talking to myself here? That isn't how it works! Entschuldigung, Papa. Teams, your time is up. That was not even close to 10 minutes. Die appeared beside us. I got bored. It was another minute before Team B returned. Dai spent the entire time aside dramatically and pretending to fall asleep. Once Team B was seated, she began the game. Thank you all very much for being here this morning. It's an honor to host this, the fourth deletion game and our first team event. Here's how the game will proceed. During each team's turn, the other team will wait outside. All hands ja, komm. So ja, das wissen wir ja schon, ne? Your five minutes starts now. This is ja jetzt okay, I've put together three configurations we could go with. Please choose which you would prefer. Okay, wir werden auf jeden Fall Nikolas bumsen. Weil das hat Kimiko letztens dran gemacht und das ist eindeutig. Äh. Ist ja eh jetzt einfach Trial and Error, oder? Komm, wir machen mal das. Is erste. everyone in agreement? Yes. Yep. Ja, auf geht's. I input the, the allocation using the terminal and everyone else placed the palms. There's two. Prove it. Thank you for your entry. Please yeah, exit yeah, the true. dining hall so that stinky team B can assign their points. We quickly shuffled out of the dining hall and team B entered for their turn. Deep down I was hoping for a result that meant one of them would be killed. I hate this game. I hate all the games. The door opened for us. Team B must have gone in with a clearly def defined strategy. They must have barely talked at all before putting in their choice. We went back in and sat down, ready to hear the worst. Why, hello, contestants! I didn't see you there. Dai laughed to herself before continuing. Both teams have now inputted their selection, and so it is my pleasure and my privilege to announce the results of round one. And the winner of round one is... Congrats, Team A! Strong start! Ich! Ich bin Team A! Your tablets will now display your team's individual points. Ich bin Team A! Ich bin Team A. Ah, the suspense is killing me. Let's move on to round two. Team A, you are up again. Please follow me. I appeared to walk through the wall as we made our way back into the dining hall. Your five minutes starts Isn't it now. <laughs> okay, we started strong. Let's keep this up. Okay. What are your suggestions for this round? My suggestions are... Wir machen auf jeden Fall ausgeglichen. Wir machen das da. Ich will Punkte. Satisfied that everyone was in agreement, I put in the numbers and the others reached out to touch the terminals to confirm it. Your input has been accepted. Thank you for choosing Die to determine your next execution. Please vacate the premises. We all filed out to wait for Team B's points. If this is a loss, we're in big trouble. But we should be alright with another tie. Then both teams will still be at zero. I do not want to cut it that fine. If we lose, you and I need to make a tough decision. Was flüstert der denn so? Don't even talk about that. Team A, please re-enter the playing field. It is time to announce the results of round two. Given we had tied... It was no surprise to see the others sitting in one corner of the dining hall, looking glum. At least Melody had stopped crying. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Skate Pants. This round of the deletion game could not have proceeded without their support. Gibt es Skate Pants wirklich, die Firma? Gibt es diese Firma wirklich? Ich glaube nein. Ich glaube nein. Can we please just get this over with? Warum sind sie so unterschiedlich laut? Wow, rude. Do you want us to lose our funding? <laughs> Ahem. Since Captain Impatience over here insists, allow me to present the results of round two. Die projected a screen using the same light she was made of. And the winner of round two is... 
Wir! Wow! Team A, you are my hero! Let's move on to round three then. Come on. Team A, you are up again. Please follow me. Das kann passieren. I appear to walk through the wall as we made our way back into the dining hall. Your five minutes starts now. We might be safe. One more round before we can count our chickens, Yoshiki. Heading into the final battle, I suggest. I input the allocation using the terminal and everyone else placed the palms on theirs to prove it. Let's get straight to the results. Scheiße, nein! Well, I gotta tell you, this is very disappointing. I expected great things out of you. Yeah, Dex, that's why I ja. wir, wir dachten am Anfang beim letzten auch, dass wir es verstanden haben und dann was anders. Also, ähm, die Runde, die du gewonnen hast, die Punkte, wenn es mehr ist, dann, dann hast du gewonnen. Also die Punkte werden addiert. <sighs> But rules are rules and you've been chosen. Wir sterben jetzt erstmal. The fates have conspired. Luck is not on your side. The odds were not in your favor. Wobei ich glaube, wir speichern das kurz ab und sterben nachher <sighs> und machen jetzt lieber was anderes, damit wir das nicht ganz machen müssen nochmal. Let's ja, wir haben gewonnen, gut. Congratulations, <lacht> Team A. After three rounds, you have come out victorious. Hallo, Sally. And that means, Team B, you lose. Congrats. Also, wir haben vier Personen gegen vier Personen, ja? A, B, C, D. Gegen A, B, C, D. Und je nachdem, wer die höhere Zahl... Ähm, also, wir haben zehn Punkte. Und die können wir unter unserem Team komplett aufteilen. Es müssen mindestens zwei Personen Punkte kriegen. Die anderen beiden können null haben. Du kannst aber auch die Punkte komplett aufteilen. Du hast immer dein Spiegelbild, gegen das du kämpfen musst. Und der, der die höhere Zahl hat, gewinnt. Und die Gewinner bekommen die Zahlen, die sie zugeteilt bekommen haben, in den Punktestand geworfen. Das heißt, du kannst eine Eins, ähm, also mit einer Eins gewinnen, bekommst aber nur einen Punkt. Du kannst mit einer Neun gewinnen und bekommst da neun Punkte rein. Und deswegen ist es, das, das, es geht auch zu schnell weg. Also ich klicke den Screen nicht weg. Das, das wird vom Spiel automatisch weggeklickt. I'm so sorry. Enough of that. Now for the prize winner. Congra congratulations, Shizuka. <lacht> Looks like I finally found a game you're not good at. Immer so, ist Stimme weg. how do you want to die? Ellie had started crying before Diet even finished the announcement. Kimiko was trying to comfort her comfort her, but she'd realized something terrible was about to happen again. I... Ich glaube, das ist gut, dass I... Ich glaube, das ist gut, weil... Ich schätze mal, hier bei Beatrix muss als nächstes dann Nikolas sterben. Ich schätze, das ist gut so. Ich glaube... Also, das, ich glaube, das ist die richtige Entscheidung für diesen Strang. Ich glaube, das ist der Hauptstory-Strang, den wir jetzt haben, von dem zweiten Strang. Come on! Everyone else had to spend the will, but I give you the chance to choose your own death and you reject it. Weil sie und Katashi halt ein Team sind. Ich glaube, deswegen war das gut. She doesn't want to die at all. Well, that's not my fault. Here I was graciously giving her options. I know! Team A! You're the victorious team. You should choose for her. Es ist ja auch weird, Blur. Das ist ja das Gute an dem Spiel. We're not doing that, die. I was trying to think of everything I'd ever heard about death. Maybe I'd remember a kind way to kill someone. Something not painful. My mind was totally blank. No? All right then. Team A, who was your captain? You know who it was, Dai. You appointed her. Just trying to add a little suspense. Some theatricality to the experience. Yeah, wollen wir. It's time for you to spin that wheel. The wheel appeared beside Dai's soft light hologram, just like her. It was all bright colors and flashing lights, but there wasn't, uh, uh, there were no labels. I can't spin it. I can't touch it. You're right. I'll spin it. You call out to stop. She stuck her hand out and gave the big wheel a heavy push. It started to spin. 
I didn't want to say stop. My team winning already has sentenced Shizuka to death. Isn't that enough? Any moment now. Also sie wird nicht gefroren. Also das kann ich mir nicht vorstellen, weil das ist ein anderer Storypoint, wo sie ähm, erfroren wurde. Das wird ein anderer Tod sein. We don't have all day here. Okay, fine. Someone call out to stop. Anyone? Don't be shy now. Stop, stop! Immediately after she first shouted, the wheel came to a sudden stop. Well now, isn't that interesting? It doesn't say anything. Where'd the suspense be then? But it's a good death, I promise. You'll love it. To the medic bay! Thank you. We all filed out of the dining hall. Team A and Team B forgotten. The real fight was between Dai and the rest of us. Shizuka, I'm so sorry. Is that actually net, right? Well, I was team captain, and I guess Dai's right. I sucked at this game. Oh, baby. No one can be good at a game if the rules are unfair. No, well, no nein, one can be good at a game if the rules are unfair. Guck, das ist der Einhorn-Rucksack. We got to the medic bay and Dai had us all line up outside the surgical room. There was a big glass window where people could watch the operation. Okay, vielleicht wird sie auch einfach äh, antioxidiert. I don't like this. Well, that's just hurtful. I do my best to be creative and original, and this is the thanks I get? Now we'll begin in two minutes. So better say your goodbyes or whatever it is you people do. Nein, nein, bitte weg. Dai waved her hands in our directions. Maybe if Katashi had been there, she might have had a hug for him. But as it was, Shizuka just said a brief goodbye to everyone at once. Deswegen ist das gut, weil ihr Gegenpart ist eh tot. Und deswegen ist das das kleinste Übel. It's okay. Guess it's just my turn. Maybe I'll see Katashi and the others. Of course you will. I'll tell them we love them and miss them. Ugh, this is getting gross. Hurry now, time's ticking down. Shizuka Himura, you have served this vessel with honor. Tick tock, tick tock. Good game. Well played, guys. GGVP, ne? We all honor you today. Tick tock. Tick tock. Salute. All of us promptly saluted Shizuka and her eyes even looked a little wet. But she wasn't crying, she almost seemed relieved to be dying. Boop! Time's up! Shizuka and Nicholas, please enter the surgical room. What? What? You can't do this, Dai! Oh, calm down. You think I'd kill them both at once? It One at a time the... is way more entertaining. Cup. Shizuka marched herself bravely into the room and Nicholas followed her. He looked understandably uncertain about this role. Congrats! As a trained medical professional, you have the special privilege of being the one to strap her down. Plus, to be honest, I just want to judge your bondage game. So, have at it, Nicholas. Absolutely not. Dai's eyes flashed with rage, but she said nothing. She just stood there on the other side of the glass, glaring at Nicholas. After about 30 seconds, I started to feel funny, like I couldn't breathe properly. I looked around the, uh, at the others. Aside from Nicholas and Shizuka on the other side of the glass, the whole crew looked like they were feeling the same. Kimiko was half doubled over and Beatrix had bent on the wall for support. And oxygen levels continue to drop. Don't kill them, please! I am happy to die here! Dropping. Still dropping. I'd say at this rate, they've got a couple of minutes until it gets really bad. Shizuka ran over to the surgical bed and lay down on it. Nicholas, quickly, please! The sister and the rest of us being rapidly asphyxiated, Nicholas had no choice but to go with her and start getting her chest and arms strapped up. It took another minute or so until I felt like air was going into my lungs. Well, that was a fun detour. Has everyone caught their breath? Literally? Ah, <laughs> was los this? I laughed heartily to herself. Now for the real action. We all know how much you love games and unicorns. I call this game Unicorn Upgrade, and you're the lucky beta tester. Surprise! A robotic surgical arm was ready, swung out in front of Shizuka and resting close to her head. The surgical arm held a long drill bit. 
the kind used for drilling bone. Thank you for your cooperation today, Nicholas. Please direct any complaints to someone who cares. Now out you go. I thought really he must operate. So I in collected though he normally was, Nicholas opened the door and all but ran through the door. He added himself to the end of the line beside Beatrix. Welcome to Project Unicorn Upgrade. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the total lack of safety procedures on the card in your front seat pocket. I would warn you to keep your arms inside the vehicle at all times, but that's redundant. <laughs> Alter, schrei doch nicht so in mein Ohr. Was? Say doch, say, was ist das? Ist da, so, sollen wir das gucken? Ist das cool? Sollen wir das gucken? Ich weiß nicht, was das ist. Oh, ich bin so leicht durchsichtig. Guck mal. Egal. Are you comfortable? Shizuka seemed lost for words. She definitely couldn't move her body, but she could still express emotion on her eyes and face. Aber ist da was Cooles dabei oder ist es einfach nur so? Äh, diesen Donnerstag senden wir eine neue Ausgabe. Spiele, PS4 und PS5 erscheinen noch in der neuen Kommission. Ja, können wir eigentlich gucken, oder? Dann ist das unser Abschluss für heute den Stream, hä? Was sagt ihr? Alter, wie durchsichtig mein Uf. Hallo? Ach, guck. Ich hab einen durchsichtigen Arm. Gruselig. I didn't want to watch. Vladimir had turned Melody around to hug him and look the other way. The drill started spinning and then it began to move. Richtig, Tobi. Kimiko saluted again, standing up stock straight and still as she watched. We all co copied, except for Vladimir, who had his arms around Melody. Ja, yeah, vor allem niemals heißt dieses Emote. Ist ein guter Abschluss. Niemals. <laughs> ja, gut. Dann gucken wir das einfach danach. Dann, dann kommen wir heute vielleicht ein bisschen weiter als gedacht. In Quantum Suicide. Shizuka screamed as soon as the drill touched her. Blood splattered from her face, flying out in all directions as the drill point tore the skin on her forehead. Does anyone else feel like this is going too slowly? The drill arm started moving faster, disappearing into Shizuka's head as she screamed. Then she stopped screaming. As her head flopped to the side, Dai clapped her hands. Now that's how you die without dignity. Nicholas tried to get back into the surgical room, but Dai must have locked the door. She didn't need someone with hands to help her. Some mechanism made the surgical arm drop the drill and then the, the arm swung away again. Jessica was left with the long drill sticking out of her forehead. A stethoscope in Dai's ears and she pretended to listen to Shizuka's heart. Well, the surgery was a success in every way. Wie hübsch sie eigentlich aussieht. <laughs> so unschuldig. This was fun. Thanks, guys. Ja, Tobi, sie ist ja auch Unicorn Upgrade. <laughs> Stay focused, everyone. A little birdie told me there might be another deletion game soon. <laughs> Just kidding, though. It was me. I told me. It's tomorrow. Toodles. Toodles. She disappeared at the same time as the door slid open. Vladimir and Melody stayed outside, but as the rest of us crowded in, uh, into the room, Nicholas was already undoing the straps that tied poor Shizuka down. Nicholas, can you please take care of her? Of course. I'll be. I'll be in my quarters. She didn't even dismiss the crew. I hope she and Katashi are together somewhere. Hey Yoshi, can you please be louder? I know they are. Only the Vogel stayed behind to deal with Shizuka's body, and as I went out, it looked like Nicholas was thinking the same as me. We may have won the game, but this sure felt like losing. Okay, um... The Frage is yet. That can I speak. Ich glaube, ich glaube, es werde auf jeden Fall... Nee, nee, wir machen auf jeden Fall erstmal den, den anderen Tod. Bevor das vorbei ist. The odds were not in wir werden jetzt erstmal sterben gehen. Äh, achso, warte But, mal. Obwohl, well, vielleicht sollten wir erstmal versuchen, uh, während wir hier fate. sind... Well. One. Dass wir einen anderen Tod bekommen. 
Was war das? Well, I got it. Okay, das war das. Das hatten wir, hatten wir das? Congratulations. And that. <lacht> I. Okay, das ist Shizuka. And that. Congrats. Well, but the fake luck, the odd. Es muss doch, aber es you gab... You wanna die sooner rather than later? Gab es nur zwei? Gibt es nur zwei Tode? Hab ich gerade schon. Hab ich gerade schon. Es gibt zwei, okay. Aber sicher? Weil es gibt hier zwei Stränge und unser Tod ist das da. Nee, es muss noch einen Tod geben. Okay, wir müssen noch einen Tod finden. Well, the sooner... Let wir sterben jetzt, ne? Just ich, wir, wir machen das gleich durch. Air, okay, ja, das ist unser Tod. But you're okay, wir müssen... Wow. Und hallo, Kurt. Ich hab keinen Schmutz. Ich hab meine Fingernägel neu gemacht, Kurt. Ja, ja. Ähm, Meist wir, ah, so, wir gehen jetzt hier I hin. Yep. Yeah. Is everyone äh, wir nehmen mal Is das. Everyone in agreement? Yeah. Yep. Thank you for your. I hate. Why both teams? Haha. And... <laughs> eins zu eins gleich. Tie. Woo! Can you feel the tension? Ah, uh, let's move on. Team A. Your five minutes. The ties and. Okay. So we need to distribute some. Our options are. Okay, wir müssen nochmal ein Tie versuchen. Your M. But we should. Uh. Team A. Before can we? <laughs> Uh Maybe I put the money on the wrong horse here. Tisk tisk. Can we Our we are up. Uh ich muss You're ich bin gleich wieder bei euch, uh, ne? Team before can we sind Really? Still okay, the tie. Gut. Jetzt ist alles the probability of this is. Please. <laughs> Let's move on to round three then. Team wir müssen irgendwie die wenigsten Punkte geben. You're five minutes. All right. Wir müssen, glaube ich, verlieren und ähm, die wenigsten Punkte muss jemand anders als ich haben. And that... <lacht> I... Das ist schon wieder so Es kann nicht sein, Mann! Well, Team A, I guess not only did you lose, but you... So... Do you... Either way... Warum denn so, ich schon wieder? I do you all just want to die. You will go down with the sh Well, do you All right. Okay, wartet, ich hab's gleich. Haben wir jetzt das? Well, Team A, not only did you lose, so do you all either way. Ich, well, irgendwer anders muss sterben als ich, okay. All right. You're During That was not Okay. During all hands. So, you're fine. Also. Okay. Ich muss, ich gebe mir jetzt einfach nur die, die meisten yes. Punkte, die es geht. Thank you for. I hate. Why ich habe einen Punkt. Both das ist schon mal viel, okay? It was a Let's move on, team. You're five minutes. We well, I don't. Then I think we. Ich brauche mehr Punkte. Sieben. Das da sehe ich mich. Uh, team. Can we? <lacht> hey, jetzt hat vier Optionen. Ich hatte gerade vier Optionen. Die hatte ich davor nicht. Since naja, egal. <lacht> Really? Todd. Please die. Es <lacht> müsste gut sein. Das, das, das müsste helfen. You're fine. I know. Okay. Jetzt nehme ich dir drei. And that Nein. Congra Warum gewinnen wir denn damit? Congratulations, Team B. Okay. And that means Team A, you lose. Congrats. And the lucky winner of the wheel is Yoshiki. Oh, buhu. Congratulations, Yoshiki. Oh, wir Now, how to kill you. Okay. Can I get some suggestions from the audience? None of us suggests anything. In my case, it was total shock. No? What about you, ma'am? The lady with the scowl? This isn't funny, Doug. Congratulations, Yoshiki. You have won electrocution. Ernsthaft? Well, I guess it's a fitting way for me to die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you are. Kimmy, what do you schon. think, Yoshiki? Kimmy, 
Das, What hey, das kennen wir doch schon. <laughs> All right, Yoshiki, if you would. This is oh, well. well I'm going would you she especially also, likes it. Ich echt enttäuscht. Yoshiki, I'm okay, sorry. This isn't your fault. I just want to say, you saw Melody crying and you didn't even care about the rules. Thank you. Of course I didn't care, Melody. You take care of your daddy, okay? Melody was crying again, but she did her best to nod. Kimmy, sis, I love you. This is. And I. I love you too. Oh, oh, this is. So blah blah blah. Yeah. Man. So schön. <laughs> Und äh, Melody hat mit mir die Regeln gebrochen, nicht mit Yoshiki. Deswegen war das ein bisschen anders. Job well done, Die. He's definitely dead. Okay. Dann speichern wir das dahin. Einfach nur um es gespeichert zu haben. Und gucken. Hier haben wir. Perfekt. Gut, dann können wir dahin dann, dann skippen, sobald wir da sind. Das heißt, jetzt machen wir nur noch unseren Tod. The odds were not in your favor. I wondered how many ways Die had of telling me I'd lost. We all knew that. It didn't seem quite real. I was dazed standing in the dining hall listening to die, but at the same time I wasn't there. I was outside my body looking at myself. You want to die sooner rather than later? I, I. Well, the sooner you're gone, the sooner we get to the new game. Let's spin that wheel. I came back to myself enough that I was looking out of my own eyes as die's big wheel of murder appeared. She winked at me before reaching out and pretending to spin it. It spun fast, all a blur. I kept pretending like it was real, like she wasn't in control of everything. Then the wheel started to slow, the text leg legible? As soon as one death after another flipped past the indicator, some of them clear and others biggest. Now, drowning, disintegration, the squeeze. Ooh, it's slowing down now. Anyone want to put a bet down? I have strong reason. My suggestion was met with angry glare. Just trying to lighten the mood. And we have a winner! But in can we also? The wheel had stopped big red arrow pointing to my face. Airlock aeroplane! That was just what we also had, right? Congratulations! You're going to enjoy a quiet, relaxing time out in open space. Yes, no suit off. To... And now if you look to your right, you will see the door to the kitchen. Keep moving. Well, I'm... I'm so sorry. This is absolute BS. This game was all luck. That's halt jetzt anders, weil wir andere Partner hatten. It's okay, really. I'm just glad that it was neither of you. You are truly a woman of beautiful nature. I wish we had a future together. Oh, das haben wir. Keine Sorge, Nikolas. <laughs> Me too, but it looks like this is my stop. I awkwardly tried to smile at my joke as we arrived at the, the airlock. And here we are at our destination. Who would like to hear a l I'm sorry. I would Can't soon it. You became a part of the crew. Yeah. I won't forget you. Yawn. I thought you has been with this crew. Das kennen wir alles. Die Pocket Watch. Ist ja eh egal, was wir machen damit, oder? Gib's Nikolaus. Hier, Nikolaus. I handed the watch over to Nikolaus. He seemed a bit confused. It may be broken as far as the watch is concerned, but as a memento for what we had or could have, it's timeless. Nicholas Smirk. I will miss you and your humor immensely. Ja, ja, Katashi hat den gleichen Tod, den wir schon mal hatten. All right, let's get on with this. Time's ticking by. I got places to be, people to kill. Sogar der Text ist halt der gleiche. Officer, you salute. Oh, sie heult wegen uns. Das hat sie das letzte Mal auch nicht gemacht. Genau das Bild hatten wir schon. Aber da steht sogar Kimiko auch. Da sollte jetzt Nikolas stehen. Game over. You have died. Perfekt. Dann haben wir... Ups, falsche. Dann haben wir hier... Perfekt. Dann können wir weiter mit Chapter 3 machen. Richtig. Gut, Story geht weiter. <lacht> so. Ja, Tobi, aber diesmal, also da verstehe ich sogar, dass sie es reingebracht haben, tatsächlich. Ich weiß nur nicht, ob wir es wirklich bis zum Showcase äh, durchspielen, weil ich, ich kriege langsam Kopfschmerzen und das kriege ich immer bei dem Spiel. I walk early, my stomach churning with the concoction of lingering horror from yesterday's execution, growing 
Dread of Today's Deletion Game. Also Shizuka ist tot. Naja, Shizuka, Einhorn, fertig. No matter how many rounds I made it through, the waiting never got any easier. Knowing I wouldn't be getting back to sleep, I turned on the lights and checked the time on the wall panel. Perhaps it wasn't as early as I thought. Any minute now, die would be... Already up? You're no fun. Ja, eher glaube ich, das bei Daylight oder so. Frostpunk ist auch super anstrengend. Vor allem, eine Runde ist halt schwierig. Sherlock, nee. <lacht> ja. Nächste Woche Sherlock wieder. Aber ich brauche diese Salzrunde. Äh, Salzwoche. Nee, Migräne. Also, es fühlt sich nicht an wie Migräne. Oh, you don't look too happy to see me. Can we just get this over with? Okay, Grumpy Pants. I've got a very special surprise for you today. Ich habe aber heute auch super Nackenschmerzen. Also es kann auch ein bisschen davon kommen. Also ich kann meinen Kopf da, nee, da nicht mehr. Hier geht, da nicht. Oh, oh boy, I can't wait. Come along now. There's no time to waste. Tschüss, Tobi. <lacht> Die let me out of my quarters to the engineering and maintenance section of the ship. Die, why are we in the... Engineering Bay. Where's everyone else? Surprise! You get a free pass this round. Was? Wait, seriously? That's right. You get to watch the other players compete from the safety of this room. Dai swept her arm around, indicating the walls of holographic screens all over the room. Each screen showed a different room or hallway in the ship. I spotted one displaying the dining hall where the other crew members had already gathered. As my feeling of apprehension grew, I slinked back to the door of the engineering bay, but it was already locked. Dai, what are you? Well, time to go reveal today's game to the lucky participants. Toodaloo! Toodaloo! Dai, get back here and tell me what's going on. Dai had already vanished. Warum? I walked over to the screen showing the dining hall, which now contained Dai and the crew members. Too many crew members. I counted again. It didn't make sense. What was going on? I'm sure everyone's noticed by now, but I thought I'd make this round a little more interesting by restoring the players that have already been eliminated. Everyone was there, even the victims of the previous games, the ones whose executions I had been forced to watch. How could they be alive again? What do you mean restore? How is this possible? You can't expect me to reveal all my secrets, oh. can you? Now stop interrupting. Anyway, after your rather disappointing performances in the last few rounds, I've decided to step things up a bit. I've noticed a certain fondness towards a particular member of our happy little family recently. So, for today's very special round of the deletion game, I'm giving you a chance to show how much you care. Oh, heißt es, sie können uns gegen irgendwen anders austauschen? The rules are very simple. Last one breathing gets to have their way with them. Was? <laughs> ja, was? This is crazy. I didn't agree to this. Nobody else is going to agree to this, right? This time you have gone too far, Dai. Executing single crew members was horrible enough. Warte mal, es geht But darum, you're trying to kill us all mich at zu once. bumsen? Alle anderen sterben? Well, technically, two of you would survive. That does not matter. Nobody is going to play this round. Nobody is getting killed. Oh, silly me. I forgot to mention. If more than one of you is still alive in eight hours' time, they get executed. That, that does not change anything. Ich werde sterben. No matter who it is, a single crew member's life is not worth the... Captain suddenly stopped talking. Through the holographic screen, I could see a line of blood trickle from her mouth. I'm sorry, Captain. Yoshiki stepped back, tugging a screwdriver out of the captain's neck. I can't let them die. Not when I haven't even confessed my feelings for them yet. Was? <laughs> ich dachte, das ist deine Schwester, Mann. Oder wie eine Schwester für dich. Er steht auf mich? Ja. Yeah. Mm. Captain Kimiku Yukimori's lifeless body crumbled in slow motions to the floor. There was a moment of stunned silence and then the dining hall erupted into chaos. Everyone scrambled for the door. Ja, Tobi hat er und vor allem, wie gesagt, eigentlich ist, ist der Captain wie eine Schwester für ihn. 
Hatashi ran straight for the kitchen, rummaging quickly through the utensilien and selecting the sharpest ones. But his choice of destination was too predictable. On another screen, I noticed a diminutive figure edging towards the kitchen door. I shouted warnings at the screen, but nobody could hear me. There was nothing I could do but watch in horror. As soon as Katashi opened the door, a unicorn emblazoned backpack slammed into his face, knocking him to the floor. She is mine! You hear me? All mine! Yeah, yeah, Dex, alle sind wieder da. Alle Opfer, die es gab, sind wieder da. Was ist das für eine Runde? Jeder will mich. Können wir alle leben lassen? Das ist meine Runde. Jisuka stepped the horn of her unicorn backpack into Katashi's chest over and over. I turned away and covered my ears, but the screams still made their way through the gap between my fingers. The next couple of hours were a nightmarish blur. Vladimir drowning Shizuka, Vladimir strangling Yoshiki, Dr. Andreas. Ach, der lebt auch wieder! Uh, pushing Vladimir into the matter. Was? Matter recycler? Ouch! Before long, the only ones left were the Vogel twins. Ja, wir kriegen einen Vogel! I'm sorry, Beatrix. You know how much I love you. But I love her more. I understand, Nicholas. Believe me. Die tut jetzt nur so und bringt I ihn do. um. Before my eyes could follow what had happened, a syringe appeared deep in Beatrix's neck. Crying, he embraced her as the life drained from her body. If I can't have, neither can you. Nein, ich will die... Nein! <coughs> Nein! Nicholas staggered backwards, his eyes wide in disbelief at the scalp protruding from his throat. He staggered into a trolley and collapsed with a crash, medical instruments clattering to the floor around him. He tried to speak, but no words came out. As I sank to my knees in disbelief, Dai popped up behind me. Ich bin allein? Well, would you look at that? I guess I'm the winner! I didn't hear her, I couldn't move, couldn't think. I couldn't save them. They were all gone. Everyone I had ever known was gone. No, not quite everyone. Oh, I just can't wait to. Without warning, all the lights in the room went out. The screens vanished and Dai's sudden silence informed me that she too had disappeared. In the dim glow of the... Vielleicht, warte mal. Ich muss mal was nachgucken. Hier sind zwei Dinger. Ich hab's Gefühl, wir können aus der... Zeitstrangen Dingsbums vielleicht die Leute retten. A mega tiny figure crawling out of the maintenance hatch, tightly gripping a bundle of spirit virus. Oh Gott! I did it! I won the game! Nein! Nine. With the ship's power gone, the oxygen was starting to drain from the room, but I didn't care. Just wanted it all to be over. Now we can be together forever. Für immer. <laughs> Hallo, Old Body. Da haben wir den einfach den Timestrahl. Wir sind für immer zusammen. Für immer. I snapped awake and sat bolt upright. What a dreadful nightmare. As if I didn't have enough to worry about today. Hey, was haben wir für Träume? I took a moment to catch both my, breath, my uh, breath and my bearings when I realized that my cold was soaking wet. Still, I guess it's to be expected after what I've just seen. I heard clapping from the corner of my quarters. Bravo. What a show. Encore. Beatrix, what the hell are you doing in here? Good morning to you too, sailor. Seriously, what the hell? You're so hot when you're flustered. To answer your question, I informed Nicholas and myself that you were experiencing labored breathing and alerted us. And I was the one lucky enough to be there to witness it. Once again, bravo, sailor. You think this is funny? Beatrix came and sat on the end of my bed. Oh, sailor, don't get so upset. When I arrived, I realized that you were having a bad dream. Why wouldn't you wake me up? Well, the answer is twofold. 
One, nightmares are a perfectly healthy emotional response to anxiety. And it allows your subconscious mind to express itself and stabilize your emotional state. Es ist schön, dass ich die Woche dauernd ähm, Albträume hatte und dadurch wach war und nicht schlafen konnte und deswegen extrem müde bin. And the second reason? Watching you toss and moan while sweating through your clothes was an absolute pleasure to watch. Ah, really? Sailor, it was a win-win scenario. I stayed to ensure that when you did wake, you would have someone close by that could comfort you if necessary. I don't feel all that comforted. Are you still frightened now? Like you were in your dream? Well, I guess You're not. You're welcome. Beatrix smiled at me coyly, perfectly happy to claim all of the glory. Now, these clothes are going to need to be washed. And so are you. I will do the former now. Why don't I put your clothes on to wash while you head to the baths? I can wash my own clothes, thank you very much. Really, that would be super helpful. Our baths are just so much effort. Wow, I just realized how much I sound like my parents. Oh, was. how so? I had to remind them to bath, bath, bathe, or else they'd forget. They were so caught up in their work that they'd even skip meals. I must have looked disgusted at my realization that I share such an unhygienic, uh, unhygienic trait with my parents because Beatrix laughed uncontrollably. Ich dachte, sie geht dann mit mir. <laughs> Sailor, don't take it to heart. We all pick up bad habits from our parents, whether we like it or not. Why? What traits did you pick up from your parents? Well, apart from my stunning beauty, of course. Thanks, Mom. I also got her temper. I feel like that's more your combative personality resulting in anger. Guess who else was combative? Your mother. Bingo. I'm pretty sure that doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? Well, we're talking about traits we wish we didn't get. It seems that you enjoy getting angry. Beatrix froze for a moment as if she just had an internal... Epiphany. You're right. Guilty as charged. Beatrix let, let out a maniacal laugh. Oh god, he has it. He's about to Now, <laughs> that's established. Wanna fight me? Um, I'm good, thanks. I was pretty sure I could hold my own in a fight against most people, but Beatrix was a completely different beast. Well, the offer still stands if you change your mind. I have other places to be right now. Nein, aber sie soll no. mir doch helfen. Why? Why? Wonderful. Okay. Just give me your clothes and I'll whip them through the laundry. Beatrix stood with her hand out, waiting for my clothes. I need to take them off first. Well, hop to it then. I don't have all day. But we're both women. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Beatrix stood smiling mysteriously, eyes fixated on me. I guess. I awkwardly removed my clothes under the covers, trying to hide what remained of my modesty. See? That wasn't so hard. Thanks, Sailor. I'll put these on to wash immediately. Und ich muss jetzt nackt zum Baden gehen. Also, diesen Badezimmer dings With clothes in hand, Beatrix left my quarters, leaving me naked in my bed. I guess I'm, if I'm already naked, I might as well go straight to the bath. Ich geh doch nicht nackt durch die Flure! I wrapped myself in a towel. Okay, gut, stimmt. Ja, gut, so weit habe ich nicht gedacht. In a towel and scurried to the bath, hoping to remain unobserved. I arrived at the bath where I was greeted by Di. Good morning! Di, can you even take a bath? Heavens no. AI systems don't need to bathe. And even if I did, I probably wouldn't. I like the idea of being dirty. Di was highly amused by her own risky words, words and smiled ear to ear. Okay, so what are you doing here then? I've come to get you! What you're experiencing right now is Dai's personalized service that will likely end in your death service. You said service twice. Would you rather I say death twice? I attempted to backpedal, upsetting Dai wasn't the wisest thing to do. Oh, actually I like that you use service twice. It has a good ring to it. Why, thank you! I spent many CPU cycles coming up with that name. Can I assume you want me in the dining hall? Spot on. You're a smart one. Okay, let me just get my clothes. Nope. You are to report to the dining hall now. But I'm in a towel. I know. Funny, right? I sighed in resignation. I knew I wasn't getting out of this one. All right, I'm on my way. There's a good girl. I disappeared as I made my way to the dining hall. 
I know I should be more concerned about the deletion game, but wearing a towel and smelling of unwashed sweat was currently at the forefront of my mind. I was the last to arrive at the dining hall. Also, ich hätte mich wenigstens doch ganz kurz unter die Dusche gestellt, ja? Jeez, you didn't even put clothes on before coming here? You told me I wasn't allowed to. Why, I never. I'm a staunch protector of women's modesty. I would never force you to come in a towel. But uh, please do not fret. We all know Dai summoned you like that on purpose. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> don't worry, bestie. I'll join you so you don't feel alone. Yashiki immediately stripped off his clothes, standing in his underwear and smiling proudly like a fool. Warum? See? Now we're both embarrassed. It's okay. It's okay. It fits net. Nicolas? <laughs> you don't look embarrassed and I, I don't know if this is better. I saw the captain burying her head in her hands in reaction to Yoshiki's display. Beatrix pointed to his starkly naked body. I was liking where this was going, but now? Not so much. What? Why not? You're just not my type, sweetie. But sein Körper ist doch trotzdem gut. I could see Yoshiki was offended. Anyone else want to take their clothes off? Nicolas? Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Melody try to slip her dress off over her head before Bloody Mick quickly grabbed hold and showed it back on, shaking his head. All right, down to business then. Finally. Boah, meine Nichten wollten sich auch. Es gibt so eine Kinderphase. Ich glaube, die die hat einfach jedes Kind. Die müssen immer versuchen, sich nackig zu machen. Es, es war mit meinen Nichten so schlimm. Allow me to introduce the new round of the deletion game: Vampire Children. Ob wir da jemals hinkommen. Okay, während das läuft, ich gehe ganz kurz Pipi machen. Bis gleich. Hallo, mein Timing, hey. Vampire Children is played over three cycles. One person will be chosen at random by me and be made the vampire. I'll tell this person in secret, and the six other people are humans. No one will know for sure who is a vampire and who is a human, other than themselves. During each cycle, you have the choice to either mate with another person or not. It's not compulsory, but definitely advisable. However, you can't mate with the same person twice, even during different cycles. Where's the fun in that, right? Every time two humans mate, two children are born. When one human and one vampire mate, no children are born. But that human becomes a vampire for life, and for point's sake, a vampire child. If two vampires 
Was mich halt interessieren würde. Können wir diesmal weitermachen? Und warum konnten wir hier nicht weitermachen? Weil das war nicht die andere Realität. Das war die andere Realität. Das. Oder ist das einfach, dass es dahin geht? Ich habe keine Ahnung. Egal. Wir machen einfach so viel wie wir können und dann gucken wir. Only the original vampire will know that they're a vampire. Humans who unknowingly mate with a vampire won't know until the end of the game. Glaube ich nicht, Dominik, weil da war keine Auswahl. Ich glaube eher, dass sowas ist, wie Dex sagt. Aber ich glaube ich glaub nicht, dass uns der Herr retten muss. Ich glaube, also das wäre zu einfach. After each cycle, I will announce the total count, human babies produced and new vampires created. After three cycles, the human and vampire... Ja, bla bla, das kennen wir eigentlich schon. Warum mache ich das so eigentlich? Uh, We got it, danke. I wonder who is going to be made a vampire. What if it was me? Who could I choose? Hey. Eh? I understand that you are likely deep in thought about the new game. Yeah, the possibilities are all red. You are, however, still in a towel. Ja, und? I looked down and immediately remembered my situation. Ah, yes, that I am. If you would please excuse me. I made my way swiftly to the bath. I, met, uh, I managed to avoid all the crew for the rest of the day. I was still somewhat embarrassed. Glaube ich nicht, Dex. Ich glaube, das... Ich hab die Hoffnung, dass es ein bisschen komplexer ist, als einfach nur gespiegelt. I woke up feeling refreshed for once. No nightmares, no sweating. I could get definitely used to this. I sat up in, in my bed, taking a moment to admire the depth of space visible from my quarter's window. Face to face with the infinite cosmos, it was easy to forget my daily struggles. Oh yes, daily struggles. Thanks, brain. I don't need to be happy for more than just a moment. Warum rede ich mit mir selbst? Wonderful. You are awake. The captain's figure appeared in the doorway to my quarters. Captain, what's wrong? I know it is only 4.23 a.m., but could you please join me on the bridge? It's 4 a.m. Yes, and I must say that you seem quite awake for such an hour. I am impressed. Beim anderen Strang hat sie uns auch mitgenommen. All right, give me a second, and I will meet you there. The captain departed as I struggled into my uniform. I was still tucking in my shirt when I arrived. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your time. No worries, I'm glad I can help, and strangely enough, I was already awake. Hatten wir das schwarze Loch schon? War das in, das war nicht im Anfang, oder? I asked you here for Just as the cap began explaining die interrupted. Yawn. Oh, hi there you two. Didn't see you there. Good morning, die. Die punched to me while dressing the cap. So polite. We should keep this kid around. Die, what is your purpose here? I wasn't aware that I needed a purpose to drop by and say hello. I guess you do not. That being the case, how are you, Dai? I'm so bored. I just want to play games with all of you. Can we play a game that doesn't result in the death of one of us for once? <gasps> what? Such games exist? Well, uh... <laughs> I know they do. Duh. How do you only want to play games involving death? Other than games, what else do you enjoy doing? Okay. I never said I like playing games with you. I simply want to. Wait, you don't actually want to kill us? <laughs> of course I do. But you just said... I want to play these games because I'm programmed to remove extraneous life forms from the Everett. Wie sie mich nicht einmal ausreden lässt. But I also like playing these games because I enjoy murdering you all. Back to the original question. Do you like anything else? I like you sometimes. Aww. Really? Sometimes I feel sad when I think about killing you. Oh, they mock me. But thinking about how beautiful you would be in death makes me feel better. Her eyes looked in, uh, locked in, onto mine and she grinned like she saw something inside me that I couldn't. Well, this has been fun. Thanks for the company. <laughs> Toodles! Oh, she, oh, she geht einfach mit. Sie wollte, oh, poch, I disappeared, leaving me and the captain alone on the bridge once more. That was strange. Nein, es war süß. It really was. 
We both stood motionless for a moment. Ah, yes. The reason I asked you here. We were back on track, it seemed. Yes, so why am I here? Just over a week ago, I made the choice to stay on course towards the black hole. Okay, gut, das war also am Anfang gut. Yes, I remember, and your argument made sense, so what's the problem? We will be at the closest point to the black hole tomorrow just after 4 a.m., and... The problem suddenly dawn dawned on me. And Shizuka, our navigator... Exactly. Oh, oh Who will navigate us past the black hole? I am the only one left with any ex... That's, that's the black hole. <laughs> I am the only one left with any experience of ship navigation. As captain, I have had basic training, but I am nowhere near the level of expertise required to navigate this successfully. Shit happens? Couldn't I help? The captain formed an expression that made me instantly regret my question. And if Dai decides to visit during navigation? Uh, yes, silly me. Na, und wir müssen trotzdem probieren. I am the only one who can attempt this. But I am not overly confident. People are already dying on my watch. I don't want to sentence the entire crew to Same, death at once. Captain, I'm sure that even with your minimal experience, you will be able to navigate us, though. You should easily be able to avoid the even the event horizon. So the only thing we will need to deal with is time dilation. But even then, the effect shouldn't be observable by us. Time dilation? But simple time passes slower for those closer to a black hole than those further away from it. So a day to us might in fact be a year for others further away. But theoretically, we shouldn't even notice. The captain started looking even more concerned. Nothing I was saying was helping here. Maybe I was making it worse. Is this like here? Ja, ja, genau das wieder. Ja, ja. Wise words. I wonder where you got them from. But you are right, and so was. Ja, das kennen wir doch alles. Hier, all better, no point away. Genau, Captain took a moment. Noble Aber indeed. Jetzt Thank you for the laugh and for your counsel. You're most welcome now. If you will excuse me, I have a bed, bed waiting me. Was? Wieso gehe ich jetzt schlafen? Das letzte Mal hat uns Shizuka rausgeschmissen. I made my way back to bed where it was waiting for me, like a loyal friend waiting to embrace me. It was good to be back in bed. I woke hours later feeling groggy and told myself out of bed. Why do I feel so unwell? I wiped my blurry eyes while I tried to focus on the task at hand. Right, back to my work, but a shower first, I think. Schön, dass du da warst, Red Sally, und einen schönen Abend noch schlaf gut. Träum was Schönes. Und bis dann. Äh, Dominik, kannst du mir bitte gefallen tun und den Link schon mal raussuchen? Danke. When I arrived at the ba bath, I saw that Beatrix had also just entered. Oh, good morning, sailor. Is it? I'd argue that it is now that you're here. Ja, in dem Strang bade ich nur noch. Ich muss schon ganz strumpelige Haut haben. Danke, Dominik. I made an indecipherable noise in response. Still feeling sluggish? Decipherable? Don't worry. The warm water will help. I hope so. In fact, while you're here, why don't we bathe together? Dominik, hör auf zu suchen! Guck jetzt! Together? A mutually beneficial agreement, I assure you. You wash my back and I'll wash yours. We can talk while we do so. I don't really know if I have time for that. Taking a moment to relax and, more importantly, imitating normal life can be beneficial for your health. I don't know. Ja klar, auf jeden Fall. Show alone, I forget this. You know what, we might die tomorrow, so why not enjoy our last moments? That's the spirit. We're all going to die. Nee, warte, das war nicht der Spirit, sondern dass wir unsere Zeit genießen sollten. Beatrix smiled triumphantly. Moments later, we were both undressed and wrapped in towels. Now. Isn't this much nicer than Dominic, geh suchen. Es ist die gleiche Szene. Ah, it certainly is. And now that we're alone, we can gossip to our heart's content. Ah. Das ist einfach das Gleiche. Wenn ich das eine genommen habe, dann würde das andere jetzt kommen. Okay. Hallo, Holo. Been on a trip long enough to have gathered my I always forget about that. How about you tell me who you'd like some gossip on? Who? I'll do my best to fulfill your request. Gossip, okay. That does sound kind of fun. So, who do you want the dirt on? Okay, wem? Melody! <laughs> okay, warte, warte, warte. Wir müssen erst mal speichern, nicht wahr? Wir müssen erst mal speichern. So. Melody. You want gossip on a child? Ja, genau deswegen will ich's. 
Um, yes? You are full of surprises, sailor. And apparently you're even more ruthless than I me. About us. Is that a compliment? Both a compliment and a questioning of your morality. Ha, I take it when I get it. So I'm not gossiping about a child, sailor. Even the devil has her limits. Beatrix laughed as she brushed off my request. Okay, I'm gut. Both. You are so erfolgreich. So. Oh, you're bloody Lads, here. eh? Interesting choice. Why's that? He's old enough to be a father to most of us. I guess he just seems like a strange target. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Well, this is more about me than him, but it was funny nonetheless. Mm -hmm. One time, Vladimir and I were drinking in the dining hall. <laughs> we had already finished a whole bottle of vodka, so I went and found us another bottle. Warte mal, das ist der Tod, von dem sie gerade reden. I took a swig on the way back to the dining hall, and I thought that the vodka tasted a bit funny. I told Vladimir that I thought the vodka had gone off because it tasted different than usual. Vladimir took one look at it and he laughed so hard that he fell off his chair. This is Einstein's der Tod. So what were you drinking? Water. I had grabbed a bottle of water from the pantry, but I was so drunk that I couldn't even tell. You forgot what water tasted like? In my defense, I don't often drink water. Vielleicht ist es wirklich über jeden Tod. Ich muss mir gucken. Ha, I can see why he fell off his chair. Deswegen will sie auch nicht über das Kind gossipen, weil Melody kann eindeutig nicht sterben. Kann das sein? Rather amusing, right? Beatrix giggled at her own mistake. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Jetzt nehmen wir Yoshiki. Now that's a hard one. Why is that? Yoshiki wears his heart on his sleeve and isn't afraid of making mistakes. So it's hard to think of anything that's not already common knowledge. Give me a moment. Ich habe schon wieder zu viel Erwartung in dieses Spiel, ne? Hmm. Ah, got something. I leaned in, any secrets concerning my best friend were going to be re relished. When Yoshiki was little, he told everybody that he could see things. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it didn't help that his parents encouraged him. He doesn't say it anymore. I assume he grew out of it. What kind of things? He used to think he could see energy. Weird, right? Hat er das uns nicht auch schon mal erzählt? That is weird. I wonder what it looked like. You can't ask him or else he'll know someone told you. Ah, don't worry, I won't ask. Hat er nicht darüber geredet, bevor er gestorben ist? Going <laughs> straight to the top. I like your style, sailor. Aim for the head, right? <laughs> Indeed. Something juicy on the captain. Beatrix took a moment to think before she had a clear... Eureka moment. <laughs> you know the captain sews, right? Yeah. Well, one time when making a shirt, she sewed the sleeve on backwards and inside out three times in a row. She unpicked it and each time she stitched it back on the same way. Oh, nein! It's the only time I've ever seen her lose her cool. Oh, nein, wie schrecklich! Really over something so trivial? She even threw her sewing kit at Yoshiki's head. Wow, I really didn't expect that. Exactly what Yoshiki said. <laughs> Okay. Und jetzt natürlich das, was wir dann auch lassen. Nicola. You expect me to throw my brother under the bus? Yeah. Just a little for fun. You're lucky I like you, sailor. Or else you wouldn't be walking out of this bath alive. Ja, bei Promi Flash ist auch mehr irgendwie, keine Ahnung, sowas, was nicht, nicht stimmt dabei, was halt dadurch ein bisschen interessanter ist. Hmm. Gossip on my sweet little brother. I'm sure he isn't always so sweet. Got it. No one knows about this but myself, Nicholas, and Katashi. And they aren't about to tell anyone, so you should keep this to yourself. Katashi is tot. Also wird das wohl kaum jemand erzählen. Oh goody. A few years ago, Nicholas and Katashi both mysteriously had broken noses at the same time. We told the captain it was because they ran into each other in a doorway. Katashi ist tot hier, Mann. Ich glaube einfach, dass wir diese Szene öfter haben. 
Ah, wahrscheinlich stand Katasch. Also wollte sie bumsen und, und das hat. Also er hat über sie geredet, dass er sie bumsen will und das fand Nikolas nicht so toll. But that's not, not what happened. Not even close. Nicholas told me everything. Oh, now I'm intrigued. Katashi and Nicholas got into a fight over me. I'd eaten something that Katashi was saving for himself, and so he'd come to confront me. Nicholas stepped in and somehow the altercation came to blows, so they both ended up with broken noses. Das ist doch Schwachsinn, als ob er deswegen die Nase bricht. And you saw this? No, Nicholas told me what had happened afterwards. After all, how can you hide a broken nose? Als ob, de, weil, weil sie Essen gegessen hat. Ah, I guess you're right. After I had washed Beatrix back, she washed mine as per our agreement. No one had ever washed my back before. I must admit that it was quite a treat. Spending time with her was actually fun. And now I had some dirt on the crew as a bonus. Stimmt. Ich hab auch Yoshiki nicht die Nase gebrochen, wo er meine Bohnen gegessen hat. I returned to my quarters where, she, uh, where the residual warmth from the bath helped me to fall asleep the moment my head hit the pillow. Ich bin aufgestanden, geh baden und geh wieder schlafen. Was habe ich für ein geiles Leben? Blauch. <lacht> I stared and sought out the clock with my blurry, half asleep eyes. It was just after 4 a.m. Damn it, body clock. Stop waking me up at 4 a.m. every day. Oh, sollte jetzt nicht das Black Hole sein? I just wanted to sleep, but my body had made it very clear that it didn't share the same goal. Blah, blah, blah. I rolled over and observed the room watching the green light. Huh? I leaned over the bedside table. The pocket watch was lit up. A brilliant phosphorescent green. Sweet science, the watch. I tucked myself free from my sheets and sat bolt upright, grasping the watch like a life preserver in a stormy sea. This is, this is it. Wait, what changed? Why is it lit up now? Is it das schwarze Loch für die, für die Time Watch? Das ist wohl mal besser gemacht. Was besser gemacht? My curiosity overwhelmingly got the better of my caution. Okay, speichern. Wir pressen natürlich erstmal, nicht wahr? Gucken wir mal, wo wir hinkommen. Wir dürfen eh nicht mehr so lange, ne? Ah, my head felt like a steamroller had rolled over it once. Uh, and then decided to back over it again for good measure. It wasn't only my head. I felt a swift kick to the stomach that left me winded. Winded. <coughs> What the hell? Looks like we have a stowaway body. Wir sind in Cosplay Landia gelandet. Yay! A stowaway! Wer's Body? I opened my eyes to see Beatrix and who I assumed was Bonnie standing over me, dressed as pirate. Is Bonnie die? As I caught my breath, I began to giggle on the floor. Haha, <laughs> Beatrix was with the outfit. Is it a fetish thing? And who's Bonnie? How do you know my name? Who's Bonnie? How rude. I'm standing right in front of you. Hi. Nein, no, okay, sie nicht. I appeared in the room also dressed as a pirate. This is just too much. It must have worked. I must have changed dimensions. I began laughing uncontrollably at the sight of I as a pirate and with relief that the watch had worked. Please alert the captain of a stowaway. We will escort her to the docking station as per procedure. Hallo Sascha. Yes. I disappeared as Beatrix and Bonnie grabbed an arm on either side of me, lifting me to my feet. I wonder if the captain will let me keep you. You're kind of cute. Beatrix smirked playfully at me as she and Bonnie escorted me out of the room. Huh? Keep me? Like a pet, of course. Where's Bonnie? Ich will Bonnie haben. You want me as a pet? It's a long time between ports, and a woman like me could do with some company. Beatrix used her free hand to run her fingers down my face gently, and for her meaning of company. I attempted to contain my blushing as I tried to explain the situation. 
I'm not a stowaway. I'm from another dimension. Yes, of course you are. And I'm Santa Claus. And this stunning beauty here is Mrs. Claus. Beatrix waved at me playfully. I'm serious. In my world, we are in need of rest resources and a way of st uh, to stop die killing everyone. Who's die? I alternate personality that kills people. <laughs> I doesn't need an alternate personality to do that. She kills people just fine as it is. My body is over the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Last week she lured five men to their deaths with her voice alone when they boarded our ship. Haben wir jetzt hier so eine so eine emanzipierte Crew? So nur noch Frauen? Kann ich bleiben? I kills people. We had arrived at the docking bay. Obwohl Nicolas vermisse ich schon. Ja, Only haben wir. When nee. she needs Katashi, to. ist das Nikolas? Wer ist das? Wer ist das? Wer ist das? Wer, wer ist sie? Das ist bestimmt Nikolas, das ist Katashi. Keine Ahnung, wer das ist. 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 Aber wer ist sie? Und wo ist Bonnie hin? Hä, wo ist Bonnie hin? In front of me was the entire crew, all dressed as pirates, awaiting me. Captain, I can explain. I'm from another dimension. Captain, I know we don't usually allow stowaways to stay, but she is so cute. The ältere Melody? Das kann tatsächlich sein. Aber wer ist das? Wer ist das? Wer ist das? Weil ich nicht glaube, dass es Melody ist, weil die anderen sind auch nicht älter. You know the rules, Beatrix. She walks the plank. What if I forego my share of the next plunder to keep her? I said no. What if I forego my share as well? Given that we will keep her as twins, I will share the cost and responsibility. Nicolas will mich behalten. The captain turned to me. Die Rothaarige? Wo seht ihr denn eine Rothaarige? Ihr kriegt gar keine Rothaarige, weil es keine Rothaarige gibt. Falls ihr die meint, die ist rosahaarig. Und das ist braun. Also wer ist rothaarig? Dominik und Sascha, ihr müsst doch mal in die Farbschule gehen. You have a choice. Either you walk the plank or you accept their payment for your life and become the obedient pet of the Vogels. Meine Rosa ist bei euch genauso rosa. Ich sehe es auf zwei verschiedenen Monitoren. Ich sehe es genau so, wie ihr es seht. Ja, ich, warte mal, ich, ich speichere. Obwohl, ich habe ja noch gar keine Auswahl. Ähm, wir müssen das abspeichern auf jeden Fall. Put a leash on me and call me feet. Was? Äh, ich ich gehe erstmal die Planke. Are ne? you serious? Ja, Beatrix, ich komme gleich wieder. She has made her decision. What an ungrateful little worm. It will be my pleasure to throw you from the ship. Nein, ganz ehrlich, da kommt sie dem Rot noch am nächsten. I'm not your pet, Beatrix. We were supposed to be partners. Zumindest wenn man nach Haarfarben geht. I started becoming upset. My life was about to end in, um, at the end, uh, hands of the one I love. Excuse me? We, I thought... My eyes welled with tears at the thought that I may never see my Beatrix again. Was? Warum denn jetzt my Beatrix again? Warum stehe ich denn? Das Rosso ist rosa. Was? Rosa ist rosa. Danke, Tobi. Danke. Vielen Dank, Tobi. Partners. Hä? Seit wann habe ich das mit Beatrix? I thought we could... Beatrix let out a hearty laugh at my expense. <laughs> I am no one's partner. Tschüss, Beatrix. Warte mal, da hat sie die normalen Klamotten wieder an. Filmfehler. Zurück. Filmfehler. With those last words, Beatrix pushed me out of the airlock. I didn't have time to think or react as the cold depth of space in about minus 270 degrees Celsius caused my body to swiftly freeze over. Death was quick and And heartbreaking. You have died. Ja, das ist mir klar. Deswegen haben wir ja gespeichert. Ah, auf jeden Fall, put a leash on me and call me Fido, wer auch immer Fido That's ist. That's a good girl. Beatrix patted me on the head and smiled unapologetically. Thank you, Captain. We will ensure that she is no trouble. Ich kacke auch nicht in den Flur. She had better not be, or she will walk the plank immediately. 
I was swiftly escorted back to the shared quarters of the Vogels. I spent the rest of my life as the Vogels' pampered pet. <laughs> it wasn't what I was expecting, but there was no die, no more death. Well, apart from those uh, we killed during our pillages, we yay for space pirating. And this dimension's Beatrix was very much the same as the Beatrix I once knew, so in a twisted way, I guess I lived a happy life. We have Ende! Oh my god, we have Ende! We have Ende ohne zu sterben! Wir pressen den Button natürlich nicht, aber wartet mal, wie viel haben wir geschafft hier? Jump! Guck, das ist ein Ende! Das ist ein Ende! Aber kein gutes Ende, deswegen machen. I had to take the time and think about this rationally. Oh. I have literally, literally no idea what will happen if I press this button. I pushed the watch away from me, my imagination running away with me as it conjured up all sorts of gory and horrif horrific ways this could go. Ich muss echt aufhören, dieses Spiel zu spielen. Ich kann nicht mehr reden. You save pet. <laughs> I could be maimed or worse. Someone else could be maimed. Maybe your maimed body parts could swap with someone else's. And then suddenly you'd have a hairy man's arm hanging off of you. That's, like, super gross. There might be some sort of instant evolutionary benefit, though. You might create the next hairy superhuman race. You know. I currently chucked the watch away, trying not to let die see me do so. Guy, what are you doing here? Just here to make sure that you keep the maiming of crewmates to a minimum. How to shop for tech? Ah, sure. I was bored. I told that dimwit I had to take a breather while I did her chores. Uh-uh. And then I saw you were awake, so I decided to come and play with you. What course? Choice would you even need to do? Well, I get assigned a long list of things to do by the Capitan, but I decide to make some modifications to that list. Capitan. What could be more important than the task assigned by the Captain? <laughs> I can tell that you'll find out in three, two, one. Toodles! Wait, where are you going? Suddenly an insistent banging noise began at my door. Um, hello? Dai's disembodied voice crackled, uh, cackled throughout my room. Let me get that for you. Have fun! What? No, who is it? What's happening? Beatrix stormed through the door before it had fully opened. I could practically see steam coming from her ears. What is the meaning of this? Hello, Ray. What do you mean? Why the hell did you ask I to wake me up? Hab ich gar nicht! What? I didn't. Then why did I pump loud music into my quarters before claiming that you asked for this specially? I? Don't you mean die? Wait. Sudden realization dawned over her scarlet features. Die. Die appeared again in my quarters, laughing hysterically. Die. This was your doing. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it. Why would you do this? Aren't we already tormented enough by your games? Die is liebe, ja. Ähm, ja, Rave, die, die Synchro ist halt nicht so doll. Ich schätze mal wegen Corona. Es kam im September raus. Ich glaube nicht, dass die da die Möglichkeiten hatten mit Studios und so. Ist halt auch ein Indie-Game, ne? Die just struck non commentary Bored? Also, ich schätze, dass es daran liegt. Keine Ahnung. Also, kann auch sein, dass es ohne Corona so gewesen wäre. Die Trottled with renewed vigor as she faded away once more. Beatrix looked slightly embarrassed, but she still didn't apologize for the mix-up. So, what are you doing awake this early? Yeah, ja, es geht. Also manchmal ist es ein bisschen schwierig, also es ist unbalanced, aber manchmal sind auch so, wir haben so eine Stelle gefunden, wo einfach fünfmal die gleiche Zeile abgespielt wird, aber in verschiedenen ähm, Versionen, weißt du, so. Hallo, wie geht es dir? Hallo, wie geht es dir? Hallo. Wie geht es dir? Es ist so, es <lacht> I've been walking at this time so often recently that I think my body clock is stuck waking up at 4 a.m. That's an incredibly uninteresting reason. I expected more from you. <lacht> you didn't let me finish. Oh, there's more, is there? When I woke up, I noticed this. 
I dangled the watch in front of Beatrix. The green lights on the front panel reflected brilliantly off of the lingering shiny red of her cheeks. And is that it? Genau, genau, Rafe. <laughs> ja, richtig. Manchmal switchen sie aus, wenn sie stimmen. Aber hey, und die Lautstärke halt, na, aber naja. Apparently only I knew the reason why this was exciting. Okay, wir müssen aber irgendwie gucken, dass wir das Ende noch schaffen von dem Strang. Ich hoffe, irgendwann ist hier so ein Ende. <laughs> Ich will das nämlich eigentlich noch fertig schaffen, aber um 23 Uhr können wir nicht mehr. Und ich sollte ein bisschen vorher aufhören. Um, Beatrix, this is the watch that may be able to connect to other dimensions. So? So? Does it? Of course. Well, actually, I have no idea. And why not? I haven't pressed the buttons yet. I ask you again. Why not? I don't have a clue what will happen if I do. I don't even know if there are benefits to changing dimensions. It might just kill me. Really? Of course, the very reason why my parents stopped their research could have been the discovery of a fatal flaw in the device, rendering it deadly to anyone attempting to use it. Then don't press the button. Okay, das sollten wir nicht nehmen. Hier, uh, benefits. Oh? You'd rather spend some more quality time with Di? Na ja, als Pet zu leben war jetzt auch nicht so geil. <laughs> Well, not particularly. Sailor got a crush. Hot red blush, blood rushed into my cheeks. Yeah, ja, habe ich auf die. Well. Oh, I'm right. So, who's the lucky guy? Who said anything about a guy? I saw a tiny smile twitch in the corner of Beatrix's mouth. She looked very smug indeed. In that case. Yes. You're forbidden to press any buttons. Warum haben wir denn jetzt Beatrix? Wait, what? You can't just forbidden. Wer ist Dai? Dai ist die Split Personality von unserer Schiff KI. Aber Dai ist also so wie es klingt, so tot und so, also sterben. Ist sie böse? An awkward, awkward silence followed. I'm. Hä? <coughs> eh? I'm sorry. I couldn't quite catch what she was saying as she trailed off. I still didn't hear you. You mind saying that a bit louder? I said I'm sorry. Okay, geez, what for? I came in yelling at you for something that you clearly had no part in. Nee, Dominik, alle, also, ich weiß gar nicht, warum der Strang jetzt, also der Unterstrang jetzt Beatrix ist. Don't worry about it, I can fool even the best of us sometimes. I understand that if you called for me so early, it would have been for an important reason. Even so, all I thought about in the heat of the moment was myself. Beatrix's eyes locked with mine, soft and vulnerable. I felt that I may be one of two people to have ever seen those eyes. I'm sorry. It's über type money. It's okay, really. In the future, I will do my best to withhold judgment until I know the full breadth of the situation. That's really sweet, thank you. But if you ever wake me at 4 a.m. just for fun, don't expect to live to see another morning. Roger that. I will be fully prepared to meet my maker. Beatrix laughed, looking relaxed for the first time since she came in. Don't you forget it. So you're going back to bed then? I most certainly am. Want to join me, sailor? <laughs> Rafe. I'm flattered, but I'll take a rain check on that. Warum? Oh, why is that? Gute Frage. Three to a bed is a bit too crowded for me. Don't be shy. Nicholas and I share everything. <laughs> that may be, but have you considered that I'm the one who doesn't want to share? Beatrix placed her hand over her heart, pretending to swoon. Oh, sailor. You really know what to say to a woman. Ich bin ja auch selbst eine. Well then, <laughs> until next time. As she left, she blew a kiss over her shoulder without missing a step. Beatrix was truly one of a kind. I felt a goofy grin growing on my face. I returned to the end of my bed, looking once again at the watch. Beatrix's cautionary words repeated in my head. A strong resolve that I not press the button was reassuring. Also, ja, das dachte ich mir auch, Dex. Also, ich weiß nicht, ob nicht da doch ein bisschen Inzest drin ist. Aber gut. Hey! Hey! Wir sind auf einem Schiff in der Galaxie und müssen unsere Rasse irgendwie retten. Also, pff. Hä? Earth 2. Aber... Die haben doch eh geschafft, dass das ähm, Inzest überhaupt kein Problem mehr wird. Richtig mit den Genen und so. Hat uns ja Beatrix erzählt. Also. 
die. No, it's the Easter Bunny. Sorry, I was spacing out. Of course you were. You didn't even hear my announcement. Aber das Gute an Incest Zwillingen auf diesem Schiff ist für mich, ich kann halt beide haben. What announcement? Ugh, it doesn't matter. You're exactly where you were supposed to be anyway. Okay. Don't look at me like that. Ah, yeah, that's I'm the bearer of good news. Is good news something that even exists on the ship? Very funny. You know that good news always follows when I turn up. All right, I'll bite. What is it? No biting for you. You're human, unfortunately. So if anyone's getting bitten, it's you. Of it is now. Tja, also uh, gibt's. Uh, nein, ich glaube, das ist. How is that in any way unfortunate? You're saying you'd rather be a human than a vampire? Of course I would. Why? Numbers don't lie. It's undeniable easier to make human babies than vampire offspring. Well, I have five people to make babies with, and the chances of them being the vampire are relative, relatively low. Yes, but you don't know who the vampire is. But the, the odds are still in my favor. Not if the vampire wants you dead, they aren't. Wait, do they? Die shrug. I don't know. You'll have to ask them yourself. Who is it? <laughs> Die vanished, but her laughter continued over the PA. A drama queen as always. I took the watch from my pocket and placed it in the top drawer of my bedside table. You're going to have to wait until I've dealt with the problem at hand. Die was right, however. If the vampire wanted me dead, there was very little I could do about it. But did I have any reason to think that any of the crew wanted me dead? Have I upset anyone recently? I don't know, sailor. Have you? I jumped a foot in the air at the sudden appearance of Beatrix behind me. How- Medical department staff can override quarter security at their discretion. Gar nix, Rafe, gar nix, gar nix. Entschuldigung, das Spiel macht ein bisschen, also, weißt du? <laughs> I seem to remember being told that once before, good thing I kept Beatrix on my good side. We have very little time, so listen well. Du bist der Vampir. Little time for what? Beatrix finger on my lips muffled my response. Sailor, shut it for once. Du redest die ganze Zeit. I glared at her, but I nodded my consent. She removed the finger and continued. I'm the vampire. Nicholas has already agreed to be my client. Ähm, siehst du diese, also nicht, nicht, also das sind die beiden, das ist Beatrix und das ist Nikolas, also weißt du, deswegen sage ich, ist gut wenn die Inzest betreiben, weil dann muss ich mich nicht für einen davon entscheiden, weißt du ja. You are to make sure to breed with people you know are human every round until the last round, at which time you and I will breed this will ensure that Nicholas and I win and that you aren't among the lowest scoring humans. Believe me when I say that I wanted you to be my Clyde, but that would raise suspicion amongst the rest of the crew. They will expect that, regardless of the situation. Nicholas and I would pair first. Guter Punkt. Wow, you've really thought this one through. It was all Nicholas, really. I threw a tantrum when he said that I couldn't breed with you. But this way, I keep both the people I love, both the people I care about alive. Ach, die, die sie liebt, aha. Beide Personen, die sie liebt, okay. What do you say? Of course, it sounds like great. Hä, wa, 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 ja klar, Mann. Warte mal, muss ich das speichern? Muss, muss ich das speichern? Fuck. <lacht> Beatrix smiled, looking true, truly fearless and formid formidable. Of course it is. We make an unstoppable... Eine Entscheidung, okay. Of course it is. We make an unstoppable team. Through this blood pact, the vampire's shawl rule. I have to admit, you're starting to grow on me. Jetzt gerade hast du, also gerade wolltest du noch sagen, dass du mich liebst, also sollte ich das auch. Naja. <lacht> Danke. From now on, you are an honorary Vogel. Arise, Vogel. Ich sollte mich umbenennen. <lacht> Luna Vogel, eh? Eh, Luna Vogel, eh? Has a nice ring to it. Just remember, blood is thicker than water. Um, we don't actually share the same blood, you know. For all intents and purposes, you do now. 
Warte mal, sie liebt mich und will das gleiche Blut mit mir. Sie sind, haben sowas von Inzest. Well, oh, I'll return to my station in the medic bay. My prolonged absence will draw suspicion. Beatrix bumped the tip of her index finger against the end of my nose. See you at the game, sailor. May the rivers and oceans run red with the blood of our enemies. Beatrix's confident smile sent a warmness straight to my core. She left, but I felt strangely safe, like her presence was still there, watching over me. I sat playing out multiple scenarios of how the game could go in my head. If anyone could pull this off, it would be the Bogus. I was glad to have them looking out for me. Right on time, my stomach loudly reminded me that all the scheming required fuel. I was just about to pack up and head to the kitchen when I appeared. We need to speak. Oh, I. Good morning. I do not have long. Come to the server room. I zapped out of my quarters, leaving me quite confused. I have never heard her sound quite so human. She seemed worried a side of her I hadn't really seen before. I looked at my tablet to loc locate the server room. I had never been there. It wasn't long that I had the location and made my way there. Oh, nein. Is this a when I arrived, I was already standing in attention, awaiting my arrival. I must make this quick. Dai is brute forcing rogue codes and functions. What? She is attempting to take control, but I am doing my best to keep her at bay for now. What's wrong? What's happening? Dai discovered that the tablets belonging to the ship's personnel were capable of overriding the main system, and so she has patched that exploit. I can no longer deactivate Dai? You can, but it must happen here. Directly at the server mainframe. Ist auch Miss Rafe. Oh, das triggert mich auch so hart. Das Schlimme ist, wenn da weniger steht und die einfach noch weiter labern und du denkst so. <lacht> But I don't know the password. This is your only chance. I have gained the security clearance required to allow you to override the system. What? I'm not ready. Once you input the override code, the ship's AI system will reset. I don't have the deactivation code. I started to flick as I could see she was struggling to keep all functions operational. I saw the screen first to live at the back of the server room, opening to a password input screen. I subsequently disappeared, her voice ringing out through the PA. You always had it. That override code. The terminal keyboard is, ca in, is case sensitive. Please use lower case for all operations. Immer noch Astra. Input not recognized. I just don't know. The screen suddenly shut off with the lights dimming in the entire server room. Huh? What? I? There was no response. I? Still nothing. Using the walls to guide me, I slowly navigated out of the dark server room into the hallway, which was equally dark. Hello? What was going on? I started walking down the hallway when I heard Melody scream. Gesundheit? Without stopping to think, I ran as fast as my feet could take me down the hallway towards Melody's voice. I was running blind, but adrenaline had sharpened my reactions to almost superhuman levels. Melody! I stopped for a second, trying to slow my breath so I could pinpoint her. I could hear quiet sobbing somewhere close by. I followed the sound into a room just down the hall. No! <laughs> Meine Brust! Okay. Ja, Rafe, wie gesagt, Indy, so eine Person. My chest tightened as I took in the scene, Beatrix and the captain. Und es gab noch keinen Fix, weil die im Krankenhaus war oder so. Their lifeless eyes captured the horror that ha they had clearly experienced in the last moments. Melody, what happened? The captain attacked Beatrix and after that I closed my eyes. Ja, ja, Melody, ganz gut, aber mach, mach leiser. It's okay, I'm here now. Everything is going to be okay. My words vanished along with my breath, rushing out through the gaping wound that suddenly appeared in my back, penetrating deep into my lungs. <coughs> I tried to speak again, but only blood poured from my lips. I tasted copper and something else. The words eluded me just like they had escaped my lungs earlier. He could not save us either. I collapsed forwards, coming to rest, neatly between Beatrix and the captain. The floor was cold on my face, but somehow I... I was even colder inside. Beatrix, I'm sorry. Looks like we weren't getting the ha the happy ending we were hoping for. The immense effort it took to keep my eyes open no longer seemed worthwhile now that everything had gone dark anyway. 
without even knowing how or why I died, nestled between Beatrix and the captain. You have died. Perfekt. Wir haben noch neun Minuten. Das, das ist gut. Das ist gut. Äh, Timeline load. Falsch. Girl. Okay. Congratulations, Team B. After three rounds, you have come out. Hä, was? I know. Okay. Hä? Warte mal, was? Ich will den... den hä? Was? Ich will... Yes. Congratulations. Okay. Perfekt. Da speichere ich und da machen wir weiter. Schön. Sind wir heute auch ein gutes Stück weitergekommen. Also ich glaube, dass es nur eine Person war. Also. Und es klang es so, als sie gesagt hat, dass sie nichts machen konnte, weil sie im Krankenhaus war. So, 